Olson's Outdoor Power is your one-stop service and equipment shop for all things outdoor. We sell the best power sports products in the business from Polaris, Can-Am, Sea-Doo, and Ski-Doo, trailers to tackle any job from H&H, Triton, and Wilson, and we continue to lead the way in lawn and garden equipment with great products from x Dixie Chopper, Husqvarna, Cub Cadet, Steel, and Echo. Add factory train technicians in two locations, and it's easy to see why Olson's Outdoor Power is the leader in all things outdoor. Olson's Outdoor Power, your one-stop service and equipment shop with locations in Atlantic and Carroll. First Windy Bank is the longest standing locally owned bank in Atlantic, and as such, we take pride in how we serve our community. For generations, we have been involved with our customers and their families by getting involved in community events and by supporting technology and teaching financial literacy in our schools. You'll also see our support of athletics on the scoreboards at home events. It's this involvement that allows us to know our customers and their families for generations. First Windy Bank, the only bank you'll ever need, member FDIC. After years of wondering why I see more runners than other athletes, I figured it out. Well, a sophomore hurdler explained it to me. This is Dr. Fritz Beyer of Body Basics Chiropractic, and he told me since my hips started acting up, I lost one second from my time. One second in a 55 second race is less than 2%, but he knew it instantly because the stopwatch told him. In other sports, there's not a stopwatch to tell you when the nagging injury takes 2% from you. To make sure you're giving your 100%, call 254-BODY to get your body back to the basics. Colton, with you more involved with farming, what have you observed? Farmers don't just work harder, they farm smarter. We've definitely seen that with the Enlist Weed Control System. Oh yeah, application is dictated by the growth stage, not a set date on the calendar, and you can take mix with Liberty. Plus you have a post program that you don't have to worry about drifting into neighboring fields. Nailed it. To learn more, contact the Seed Pros. The Seed Pros, with you from the word go. The Seed Pros, Mark Van Tagger, Gary Dinklet, Nick Knudsen, and John Becker. At Second Street Auto, it's our mission to get you back on the road fast. And it all starts with free local towing. Once you're back at the shop, we talk you through your car repair with a free and fair estimate. We do everything in-house so you know who's working on your car. Our Hercules tires come with free road hazard repair, free rotation for the life of the tires, and a free alignment check. And nobody can beat our transmission rebuild and repair experts. Brakes, tune-ups, oil changes, preventative maintenance, and service work make Second Street your first stop. KS95.7 on your Alexa device by saying, Hey Alexa, enable KS95.7 skill. KS95.7. And good evening and well, welcome to Hawkeye 10 Conference Volleyball Action here tonight. The Atlantic Trojans. And the uh, Holland Cyclones are facing off in Hawkeye 10 Conference of Volleyball action. Both teams out warming up. The broadcast brought to you by Olsen's Outdoor Power, your one-stop service and equipment shop with locations in Atlantic and Carroll. Also brought to you by the First Whitney Bank. They're the only bank you'll ever need, a First Whitney Bank. And Body Basic, call 254-BODY to get your body back to the basics. And a seed pro, so by your side to maximize yields. From the word go, your pioneer pros, John Becker, Mark Ben Tiger, Gary Dinkley, and Nick Knutz, and also your transmission pros, Second Street Auto. And Cass Health, the neighbors caring for neighbors. And Outfitters Plus Outlet Store, your home for First Life Sports Apparel in Atlanta. Get the Super Bowl. Grab the gang and head to the Super Bowl for Globe Bowling every Friday and Saturday night. Swit is safe, reliable Swit for all your transportation needs and Stein Seed. Stein has yield. Contact Darren Petty, your local Stein representative. High V, Bakery, Deli, Grocery, Meat Department of Pharmacy, always here for you. Your Atlantic High V. And Atlantic Ag and Auto, your locally owned full line car quest retail store in Atlantic. And Rolling Hills Bank and Trust, a hometown bank for hometown people. Member FDIC, also brought to you by Elkhart Plastics, integrity, optimism, customer focus, and a can do spirit. Go to MyersIndustries.com forward slash careers and you can fill out an application. 
And also brought to you by the Fish Store and Pet Center, your local one-stop pet shop in downtown Atlantic. Trojans in Harlan are getting ready to face off tonight as we look at the Hawkeye 10 Conference. Uh, Lewis Central leads the league at 6-0. Kemper 7-1. Glenwood right now at 5-1, tied for second with Kemper. Red Oak 4-2, and, and then Clorinda 4-4. Four four. St. Albert 3-2, and two, Shenandoah 3-5. and five. Atlantic and Harlan both come in with two wins. Atlantic is 2-6, and six, Harlan 2-4. And, and Dennis and Sleswig 1-5. And, and Creston 0-7 oh uh, coming into the uh, match tonight with Atlantic and the Harlan Community Cyclones. Shelby McCready will join me here just a little bit. It's our general manager and... Mr. Bill Saluk is behind our camera. A live video stream here tonight as well. And on the radio at 95.7 FM and live video streamed on westerniowatoday.com. Had a chance to catch up with Atlantic head coach Michelle Blake. We'll hear from Coach Blake right after this one-minute timeout. Cass Health in Atlantic, Iowa is a nationally recognized hospital. And we are proud of the awards and all of our recent accomplishments. But do you know what drives us to be the very best? You. We're passionate about helping our patients heal and feel their very best at any age and any stage of life. Cass Health, neighbors caring for neighbors. Outfitters Plus in Atlantic is making it easier for teams, coaches, groups, and you to host your group's orders online with their online store. Custom printed shirts, sweatshirts, all of your team apparel. Outfitters will design the graphics, post them on the web, give you the link to share with your team or group, and they can order themselves all online. No more order forms to lose, sizes to keep track of, or money to hold on to. Let Outfitters Plus set up an online store for your team or group today. Give them a call at 243-4379. That's 243-4379. Outfitters Plus in Atlantic. FDIC. And welcome back to Atlantic. Tom Robinson alongside Shelby McCready. Atlantic and Harlan tonight, Shelby. And, uh, and when you look at this matchup, first of all, you've got to note uh, the Harlan Cyclones serving very well uh, coming in at 91.4%. Uh, Atlantic right at 84.7%. I think uh, Coach Blake will talk about how important that serving is. Well, and you don't want to give away points. You know, we've talked before about the unforced errors, and, and the biggest ones become behind the service line. You know, you can't score if you can't get the ball over the net. And, in fact, not only do you not score, but you give the opponents a free point. So serving is going to be a huge factor, I think, tonight. Senior night here this evening for the Trojans honoring Nicole Mittens, Avery Knuth, Abby Muller, uh, the uh, three of the uh, four seniors, as well as Michaela Atkinson, the libero for uh, the Trojans, also honored here uh, this evening. When you look at uh, Holland, first of all, and uh, their setter is Macy Mueller. Now, Holland runs a 6-1. Atlantic runs a 5-2. And uh, Mueller comes in with 334 assists. And they've got a handful of hitters here that have kind of balanced out uh, the kills as well. Well, you know, just noticing during warm-ups, they're very strong in the middle and they're very strong on the outside. I think, you know, the Atlantic uh, scheme needs to be to try and force them to go weak side because I think that might be where the weakness is with the hitters, um, not necessarily being a big hole in the offense for Harlan by any means, but, you know, they're very strong in the middle and very strong on the uh, strong side, so Atlantic's going to have to get their blocks working tonight. Erica Rust uh, leads Harlan with 94 kills in a season. Aubrey Suizo, 89. Samantha Ines, 88. And uh, Ava Monson, 66. Hope Preston, 63 uh, so far in the season. Well, for the Trojans, and I think we've talked about this with Coach Blake quite a bit, they need to get the ball in the hands of Peyton Harder. Yeah. <laughs> Up front, Peyton is uh, certainly uh, by far and away the leader in kills with 124. Well, you know, and it starts with the pass. I know, you know, um, Harder's an excellent hitter. Atlantic has a lot of different hitters that they can go to. You know, Maddie Richter's really solid at the net. And, uh, you know, Muller, she's got some experience behind her and some power. But none of that works if you can't get the pass to your setter so it's going to be interesting to see if Atlantic can get those passes to the setter so that way they can work harder out of the middle yeah, and besides a Peyton Harder with 124 
Abby Muller has 76. And Jillian Satoff, the freshman's coming on. She has 29. Morgan Botus, uh, who will start tonight, has 39 uh, kills uh, for the Trojans. Again, Atlantic hitting about uh, 51 uh, coming in. Both teams, uh, their efficiency maybe not as high as they would like it. Holland hitting about 0.87. Yeah, I think the two teams are very comparable when you talk about efficiency. It's just going to come down to who makes fewer unforced errors and, you know, who can command the net. Again, both teams are warming up. Harlan Atlantic tonight. It's blue out tonight in, uh, in honor of uh, Grace Pauley, the young lady, the sophomore from HSTW that was seriously hurt in that single car accident uh, back on September 19th. And so folks wearing blue tonight, uh, recognizing uh, Grace Pauley and her family. And uh, they also have uh, a free will donation out here as well. And, uh, boy, we certainly uh, hope the best for Grace. Thoughts and prayers go out to her and her family group. Yeah, and, you know, this is why it is so wonderful to live in, you know, small town Iowa, you know, where we might be on different sides of sporting teams and, you know, live in different communities. But when it really comes down to it, you know, we're we're all big one happy family out here in western Iowa. No doubt about it. Hey, we're getting close to the uh, starting lineups so and the opening serve. We'll take a two-minute timeout. We'll be back with more pregame coverage from Atlantic on 95.7 FM and live video streamed at Western. Today.com. The Super Bowl in Atlantic is a staple of Cass County get-togethers. From family reunions, birthday parties, night out with friends, and a fun date night, the Super Bowl has always been here. With glow bowling on Fridays and Saturdays, bumpers and ramps for kids, anyone can have a blast at the Super Bowl. Get the ball rolling on your next night out and get-together. Call Dan at 243-4656 to book the Super Bowl in Atlantic. Does your schedule make it hard to get the kids to and from school? SWIDA can help. SWIDA Student Transportation is safe, easy, and affordable. Kids in grades pre-K through 12 not served by the regular school bus can ride in Atlantic, Harlan, Glenwood, and Red Oak for $1.50 each way. Register now for fall by visiting SWIDA.com or call 1-800-842-8065. Partner with the undisputed leader in Enlist E3 Soybean Genetics. With exceptional yield and value, neighbor-friendly weed control, and more new elite genetics developed faster. Stein can help you maximize profits on every acre you plant. Discover yield plus experience with Stein Enlist E3 Soybeans. Learn more at steinseed.com. Stein has yield. Contact Trey Bricks at 249-2503. Athletic trainer Andy Neiman is our guest on the latest episode of the Cass Health Podcast. Listen. John here from Atlantic IV. I just wanted to thank Atlantic and the surrounding communities for allowing us to serve your meat, grocery, floral, and pharmacy needs. You can be sure that we are working hard looking for deals to save you money on your groceries and at the pump. Thanks again from all of us here at your Atlantic IV for allowing us to serve your meat, grocery, floral, and pharmacy needs. And we'll see you soon. Welcome back to Atlantic. You're getting close to the starting lineup. And the first serve here will have the cross country results coming up here a little bit later on. Atlantic uh, running at Southeast Polk here this evening. Coach Vargas and the gang. And we'll have those results posted a little bit later on. Zach Collins is uh, on the computer tonight. He'll have the volleyball scores as well posted a little bit later on of what we get in this evening. And we'll finish it off tomorrow morning. Speaking of cross country, I've got to brag on your daughter, uh, Taylor, who ran uh, two years at Iowa Central and had a great career there in junior college, recruited by Northwest Missouri State, and uh, recently ran, what, the 11th? Fastest time in program history. Amazing. Yep. yep, University of Nebraska is one of her favorite courses, and uh, she laid down a pretty solid time a couple weeks ago. So she's uh, really having a good time, you know, on the collegiate level. Yeah, and uh, Craig Allen Becker also has uh, kind of found a home at Dort. He's doing well. Yeah, it's great to see these kids go out and excel at the things they do well and, you know, see them be healthy and, and compete with the top tier of runners, you know, across 
the nation. Jalen Peterson also still running. We'll catch up on uh, Jalen, but he's had a solid career in college, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he's always been rock solid. Well, we're getting set with the starting lineups here, and we'll take a look at the Harlan Community Cyclones, uh, first of all. And the libero is a Cami Stork, a 5'7 senior. Also starting in that front line, Aubrey Suizo, a 5'9 junior. Samantha Nyason, Nyason a 5'9 senior. And Hope Preston, a 5'8 sophomore. Erica Rush, she's the height on this team at 6' foot and a senior. And Ava Monson, a 5'9 senior for the Harlan Community Cyclones. Macy Mueller, she'll be the setter, a 5'7 junior. As you mentioned before, she has uh, a boatload of assists at 334 on the season. When we look at Atlantic, uh, the starters here, and they're going to start some seniors tonight. We'll see the likes of um, Maddie Richter uh, in the lineup as well as Jersey Fippen. Nicole Mittens, a 5'5 senior, getting a start. Also, Avery Knuth, she'll be one of the setters. She has 21 assists of the season, and she's serving 70% of 5'5 senior. Abby Muller, 83 of 112 serving for 74%. And she's hitting about 172 of the year with 76 kills, the second highest on the team. Also starting, Morgan Bonus. And Morgan uh, getting a start. Uh, she is uh, 39 kills on the year. And uh, she's serving uh, in a pretty good clip for the Trojans as well. Jillian Satoff, the freshman, getting a start tonight. Jillian is a 5'8 freshman and uh, hitting about 026. So far this season, though, her real key is serving. 127 to 143 for an 83% average. We'll see Jersey Fippen in there as well. Fippen a 5-3 sophomore, serving about 86.7%. Peyton Harder, she's the go-to girl up front, the six-foot junior, and she's serving almost 80% on the year. And she has 124 kills and a kill efficiency of 143 for Atlantic. Also, Maddie Richter, we'll see Maddie in there with 169 assists uh, to lead this team so far uh, this season. And uh, Maddie, uh, just a junior, won't be starting tonight, but we'll see her in that rotation. And again, a 5'6 junior, serving about 85% and 169 assists on the season. She also has 41 kills uh, on the year for uh, Atlantic. We'll take a two-minute timeout. When we come back, we'll have the first serve here in Atlantic on 95.7 FM and live video streamed on westerniowatoday.com. This segment of Did You Know by Amy Jo is about hydraulic hoses. Well, guess what? They break. And at the worst times possible, too. Atlantic Egg and Auto can build you a new hydraulic hose most of the time faster than it takes you to even get to town. Now, don't begin a ticket race in a town to see me. Since you're here, you might as well get more hydraulic fluid, shop towels, detailing supplies, and fresh cab to keep those rodents out. Atlantic and Audubon Egg and Auto, your only locally owned CarQuest Auto Parts stores. Live video streaming on westerniowatoday.com is courtesy of Nishnanet, offering always fast internet with no gimmick pricing to select rural areas of Cass and Audubon counties. Nishnanet is a local company with local technicians and offers unlimited data on most of their internet plans. Learn more about Nishnanet and their services and products by going to their website at nishnanet.com. Nishnanet.com, technically awesome. Rolling Hills Bank and Trust. Here at Rolling Hills Bank and Trust, we're dedicated to agriculture. That's why we offer various services that fit your growing ag needs. All our decisions are made locally by experienced lenders that truly understand the unique challenges of your operation. We're large enough to handle all your lending needs, yet small enough not to lose that personal touch. Our dedicated loan officers want to work with you to help your operation grow and thrive. Feel free to stop in and talk about how we can help your business succeed. Rolling Hills Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Elkhart Plastics in Atlantic has a career opportunity for you. They're currently looking to hire first and second shift oven operators, first shift assemblers and maintenance personnel, along with competitive pay and shift differential offered for second shift. Elkhart Plastics offers medical, dental, vision, company paid life and disability plans, as well as vacation, paid holidays, education reimbursement and retirement savings plans. Go to MyersIndustries.com forward slash careers to view openings and fill out an application. Elkhart Plastics is an equal opportunity and affirmative action employer. The numerals as well. So here we go. Atlantic and the Harlan Community Cyclones broadcast brought to you in part by Stein Seed. Stein has yield. Contact Darren Petty, your local Stein representative at Hy-Vee. 
Bakery, Deli, Grocery, Meat Department of Pharmacy, always there for you, your Atlantic IV. Keys for Atlantic, first of all, Shelby. Well, obviously, you know, as we talked about earlier, it starts behind the service line. Atlantic's got to minimize the service errors, you know, from the get-go. You can't be giving away free points. On the on the uh, offensive side, they're going to have to get the passes up to the setters. The setters are going to have to get balls in play for the hitters. And the hitters are going to have to be really cognizant of where the Harlem blockers are because Harlem's got some height in that front row. And so Atlantic's going to have to, uh, you know, try and play around those big hands. You know, and defensively, they've got to get blocks up. You know, you can't let Harlan swing freely or you're going to be in for a really short night. Ineson will serve first for the Trojans. And we're ready to go. Here's Ineson. Her serve is across and we're underway. And she gets an ace right out of the gate. Right in front of Botus. And the Cyclones up one to nothing. You know, um, Atlantic's got that tough three-person receive. You know, you got to be able to move. And, and Harlan dropped that ball in beautifully. Right in front of Ogan Botus. And here's the serve by the Cyclones. Ball is passed ahead of Knuth. And she hits it high to harder. She'll pump it over the net. Ineson. And Muller sets. Here's a swing by uh, Suizo, and it's in. And Harlan up 2 to nothing, right on the line. Yeah, that was a great play by Harlan. The set was perfectly placed, and Suizo just really got above the block on that one. Cyclones up 2 to nothing on the seed. Pro's scoreboard right out of the gate. And serving again is Ineson. Line drive, and that one is in as well, right on the line. Wow. Harlan off to a good start. And a game of inches early on. Yeah, and again, it's tough. You know, Atlantic's only got three people back to receive, and so they've got a lot of ground to cover, and that ball dropped right on the line. Ineson has two aces on this series. Here's Canoe set, strong side. Muller gets it across. Ineson to Mueller. She'll set weak side. Here's a shot across the net, then a whistle, and a violation on the Trojans, and the Cyclones now up 4 to nothing. You know, just a little overzealous on the net. Got caught up in the net on the block, you know, but uh, that's what happens when you get hungry to make him eat one. Ineson still serving. She's serving about 90% of the year. There's the serve across, and that one is in. My goodness, three ace serves for Ineson. Cyclones up five to nothing. And Coach Blake has seen enough. But she calls a timeout, and we'll take it with her. We're back in a minute on 95.7 FM and live video streamed on westerniowatoday.com. Are you... The perfect companion is waiting for you at the Fish Store Pet Center in Atlantic. Pick out a furry guinea pig, hamster, or mouse. Maybe something feathered. They have an aviary full of birds to choose from. What about something scaly, like a snake, lizard, or hermit crab? And, it's in their name, a wide variety of fish are available at the Fish Store and Pet Center. Get all the food and accessories you need to keep that new addition to your family happy and healthy. The Fish Store and Pet Center in Atlantic, a pet lover's paradise. Olson's Outdoor Power is your one-stop service and equipment shop for all things outdoor. We sell the best power sports products in the business from Polaris, Can-Am, Sea-Doo, and Ski-Doo, trailers to tackle any job from H&H, Triton, and Wilson, and we continue to lead the way in lawn and garden equipment with great products from x Dixie Chopper, Husqvarna, Cub Cadet, Steel, and Echo. Add factory train technicians in two locations, and it's easy to see why Olson's Outdoor Power is the leader in all things outdoor. Olson's Outdoor Power, your one-stop service and equipment shop with locations in Atlantic and Carroll. Welcome back, and Harlan gets another point off the net, six to nothing. Cyclones with the lead. Here's the serve across. They'll get it back to the middle, and the libero gets it across for Atlantic. Bump ahead across the net. Big swing by Moore. She hits it out of bounds. She's right there at the top of the net in the middle, and that ball hung, and she hits it across, but goes out of bounds. Harlan up seven to nothing. Well, they're going to give that point to Atlantic because they're ah. going to say Harlan was in the net. But, you know, when you look at all six Harlan points, they are, you know, errors by Atlantic. They, I'd say five of the six were unforced, so Atlantic's going to have to reel it in and stop giving away points. Pippen is in for Abby Muller, and she'll serve. Pippen gets it across deep. The ball passed to Mueller. Mueller sets for Sweezel. Big swing across the block. Atlantic has a canoe. Sets Parter. Tip. Retrieved by Mueller. Ineson back near side and a big swing and out of bounds. Hope we have a net call on Atlantic. Hope Preston hit out of bounds, but a violation Atlantic and the Cyclones up 7 1. You know, again, another error on Atlantic's part. You know, you can get up for the block, but you got to get your hands off that net. Serving is Monson for Harlan. She'll swing it across. Fippen, pass, Knuth. 
Back to Fippen. She'll take it across the back line. Harlan has it. Set middle. Big sweep. Good. They go to the middle. And Erica Rust with the kill for the Cyclones. And it's 8-1 to one on the scene. You know, pro school board. Again, Atlantic's in the net on the block. And they're going to have to, you know, figure out a way to get their hands on the ball without coming down on the net. Ava Monson serving. She's serving 92%. Gets it across. Knuth will set for the back row. Fippen fires it across. Atkinson, rather, excuse me, Mueller, now weak side. Hit across by Hope Preston. Canoes resets. There's a punch across the block with a nice dig by Preston. Fippen knocks it deep, and it's Holland's point, 9-1. to one. You know, offensively, Atlantic just doesn't have any punch right now. If they're not sending a free ball over for Harlan, they're sending a lob on the hit. So Atlantic's really going to have to buckle down, get their passes down so they can get their offense in the game. Monson will serve it again down the near side. Atkinson, Canute tries to tip, and another point for Harlan. Canute just couldn't get the pass. No, and, you know, A.J. Knuth has got a little height disadvantage when she's going up against a six-foot Harlan girl. So, you know, she did the best she could with the hand she was dealt. 10-1 Harlan, the seed pro scoreboard. Monson and Lobber across the net. Here's Harder, tip shot, returned by the Cyclones. Canoe sets, big swing across the net by the Trojans. Mittens with the swing and then a kill by Harlan. Yeah, but she had her foot over the line. So it was a great hit, but she came down on Atlantic side. So it's going to be point Atlantic. Atlantic now trails 10-2. to two. Claire Schroeder will serve for the Trojans. Here's the serve. Go to deep. Retrieved by Anison. Big set in the middle to Suizo. Returned nicely. By the Trojans, good job by Bonus up front. Yep. Atlanta gets the point. Harder had a great block, and when Harlan dug the ball, it came back over. Is a nice little present for uh, Madison Bonus. So hurt. <laughs> so it was, it was a great play. Here's Schroeder serve Atlantic down ten to three. The pass hit a view of the center. It goes over the net. Atlantic with the carry. And now it's 11-3 Harlem. Boy, the Trojans had opportunity there, huh? Yeah, another another gift for Morgan Botus, but unfortunately this time her timing was just a little off. It's hard to time those because they're really exciting when you see them coming. Carly Tornade and the sophomore will serve. Serving about 95%. Tornade and serve across. Schroeder punches it in the net. 12-3. Cyclones, they serve by Tornade. You know, the tough thing about that three-person receive is you've really got to have a lot of movement. And right now, Atlantic's feet are just concrete, you know, stuck in concrete. Tornado will serve again. 12-3, Cyclones the seat, pros scoreboard. Here it is. Pass ahead. Richter is in now. Sets near side. Punched across by Bonus. Cyclones have it and mishandle it. They got it. Trying to go to Suizo, and she couldn't come up with it. And the Trojans on the board with four points now, 12-4. You know, Harlan's got a really disciplined defense. They play their sides up, you know, and then their middle takes away the angle. So it's really hard to drop behind the block because there's somebody there. But, you know, I was always taught as a blocker, if you touch it, don't turn around and hit it. And that's exactly what Harlan did, taking, you know, the other players out of the game. Harder serves deep. Pass hit to Mueller. Sent across by Suizo, deep. Set up. Bonus, free ball across, another tip and good. A tip by Mueller, the center, and it's 13 to 4 Cyclone. You know, Atlantic got caught on the second hit, you know, standing on their heels, and Harlan just dumped it right in the middle, and, and nobody reacted. So Reichel will be in to serve. She'll knock it deep. The pass ahead, Schroeder sets, swung across the net by Jillian Satoff. Mueller sets, Schwezo hits. Nice dig in the back row. The Trojans keep it alive. Botus, free ball across. Mueller sets, weak side. Russ fires. Nice save in the back row by Atlantic. Pass ahead to Jillian Satoff. Gets it through the block. A dig by Harlan. Atlantic gets it back this way. Schroeder sets, weak side. Richter fires across, and it is. Oh, just missed out of bounds. Good volley that time. Well, and Harlan ran a really good slide play, you know, about two or three um, volleys in. And so Atlantic blockers are going to be have to watch him for that slide on the weak side. Here's a serve. Schroeder set. Satoff knocks it across. Dug out nicely by Reichel. Here's the fire across, and it hit the Trojans. Yep. There was a touch. Yeah, it touched Jersey Fippen on her fingertips, and it's 15-4 Harlan. You know, those are real hard to get out of the way of, and, you know. Yeah. 
Once it grazes you, you wish you could have. So serving for Harlan is Reichel again. Deep serve. Fippen, Schroeder, Sat, Satoff, and a Trojan step under the net again across the net. It's 16 to 4. Schroeder's momentum was going forward, and, you know, she just couldn't keep it on, on the Atlantic side of the net. Harlan, four straight here. Reichel serve. Bodis. They'll set for Satoff. The freshman knocks it across past the Mueller. Mueller sets far side, squeezes and swings. Dug out nice in the back row by Fippen. Harlan's got it back. Mueller sets. Here's the pass. Sweezel back attack. Gets it across. Dig Fippen. Bonus. Satoff. Whistle. And a violation at Atlanta. Yep, yep. The ball, came, the ball went on the wrong side of the antenna, so it's considered out of bounds. 17 to 4. Cyclones up big. Reichel serves. Fippen pass. Back attack by Richter deep. The ball punched ahead by Stork, and a missed pass. Atlantic will get the point, 17-5 to five cycle to the seed from the school board. Well, Atlantic's going to have to chip away at the lead one serve at a time, so, you know, Morgan Botis needs to go on a run right here to pull him back into it. Botis serve. Pass. Mueller, she'll set. Weak side, and Russ fires it right in the net. Atlantic gets the point. 17 to 6. Well, that's a good start. You know, the way you chip away at a lead is just one point at a time. So Atlantic really needs to focus on the serve right here and not make an error. Morgan Botis will fire the lobber across the net. Reichel pass. Mueller sets. Swung on by Suizo. Too deep. Atlantic gets a point again. It's 17 to 7. Trojans down by 10. Well, and Atlantic put up a real solid block that time, so Suizo was trying to cut inside the block and ended up hitting it long. Three straight for Atlantic. Botis serve. Stork, Mueller, near side, Russ fires to the back, and the ball by Botus didn't get the pass. Cyclones get the point. They go deep, and off of Botus' palms, it's 18 to 7 Harlan. Well, that was just a situation where, you know, Atlantic was just out of position on the defensive side. Stork serving, Schroeder setting, Muller hits it across, and God, Muller got above the net, had a great set, got on top of the ball, and got the skill, 18-8. Yep, yep, Abby Muller just separated the block right there and powered it right through him, so excellent job on it. You know, great pass, great set, uh, put the ball to the ground, that's how it works. Manny Richter serving almost 85%, we'll serve it again. Richter served deep, and it's in, and they, oh, oh no. it's not, close. It carried, yep, <laughs> it looked like it was going to drop, but it carried. 19-8, to eight. Harlan with a huge lead here, the seed pros scoreboard, and uh, Mueller will serve. The lefty and the setter gets it back row to bonus. Richter sets middle, Mueller fires it through the block, and Stork saves the back row, and the Trojans get the point. Red and Abby Muller with that one. Yeah, that was a great hit by Abby Muller. You know, that's kind of what, it's not going to go down as an ace because Harlan got more than one hit on it. But, you know, she hit it hard enough. They couldn't handle it. 19-9, Cyclones with the big lead here on the Seed Pro School Board. Jillian Satoff, the freshman, will serve. Nice one across. Squeeze out to Mueller. They'll go to the middle. A tip shot and returned by Harder for Atlantic. That ball hung. And Harder was there also for the Trojans. They had a couple of uh, players there yeah, for the I block. Every, I think everybody in the gym knew that Harlan was going to go middle that time, and Peyton Harder had plenty of time to make him think about it. Cyclones have it. Mueller will set strong side. Tipped across by Preston as she gets the kill. Hope Preston with the shot for the strong side set, and Harlan up 20 to 10 on the Seed Pro School Board. You know, that was just a nice cut shot, went off the left hand of the inside blocker, so Atlantic's going to have to just take away that angle. Serve by Ineson. Satoff to Richter to Harder. She'll push it across to the back. Mueller will set strong side. Here's a swing and good. Ava Monson got her turn and a kill for Harlan 21 to 10. You know, Atlantic just seems to be a step behind where they need to be. You know, Harlan's dropping that ball pretty, pretty aggressively, so they need to adjust their defense. Ineson had those six straight points early. She'll serve it again. Harder, big swing to the block and good. Nice set to Harder. They go strong side. She got a big, powerful hit through the block. Atlantic gets the point, 21 to 11. Well, Atlantic really needs to take advantage of Peyton Harder being in the front row, you know, and uh, Maddie Richter did a great job of getting that ball to her. So, you know, if Atlantic can maximize the opportunities, 
you know, that's going to help considerably. Fip and serve, and we've got a whistle. Violation, Harlan. Yep, they moved before the ball was hit, so that's out of rotation. Atlantic now down 21 to 12 on the Steve Crows scoreboard. And Jersey Fippen will serve it again uh, for the Trojans. She's serving about 87% coming in, 39 to 45. Just a 5 3 sophomore. 21 12 Cyclones with the lead. Fippen. Tosses it, fires it across the net, and she gets a, a serve right in front of Stork for the barrel. Atlantic now battling down 21-13. to 13. Well, and you know, you just got to chip away at it one point at a time, and, and Fippen plays that ball beautifully. Serving, Jersey Fippen. Atlantic down by eight of the seed pros. There's a serve in the net. 22-13. Well, it was a good run uh, for the Trojans. Lennox serving about 84.7 to come again. And Harlan about 91.4. You talk about how important that serving is going to be here. Eva Monson fires it across. Satoff to Richter. Richter sets, bonus fires, and it is yeah. good. What a shot in the zone. Yeah, she just... Morgan Modis just caught the line on that one, but, you know, she went around the block and it dropped, so point Atlantic. Trojans had a rough start, but they're starting to uh, get their feet underneath them. I think it's, as you mentioned, they're in cement. I think they're starting to to pull them out of that cement here, so they've got a big mountain to climb here. Stork with the receive on the serve. Mueller sets. Back attack by Ineson. And the Trojans cross the net. Schroeder was trying to retrieve the ball, and she goes underneath 23-14 Harlan. You know, again, Harlan with a great hit. You know, Atlantic's able to dig the ball, but, you know, keeping it in play has been a little difficult. So the serve again. Schroeder. Richter sets weak side. Harder. A little tip shot. Knock in the air. And Ineson's got to send a free ball. That's almost too many. Mueller with the hit. Schroeder with a save and out of bounds. And it's set point for Harlan 24-14. You know, here again, Atlantic needs to work on their communication a little. I think that ball was going to float, but absolutely nobody told Schroeder. So, you know, the <laughs> only choice she had was to go after it. Here's a serve by Tornaden, and it's out of bounds. Atlantic gets the ball. Down 24-15 of the serve. Score brought to you by the Seed Pros. Atkins in the libero will serve for the Trojans. A nine-point Harlan lead. Atkinson. Fires, Stork, Mueller, Sats. Big swing by Rust. Good block of the net by Muller. Ball goes wide to Schroeder. Set for Richter. She'll punch it across. Still alive and a whistle. And Atlanta gets the point. 24-16. Yep, and here's where Atlantic's going to have to dig down. You know, Harlan's one point away from winning, so they're going to have to be perfect for about another uh, 10 points. Atkinson fires it across on the serve. Mueller will set. She'll tip Ooh, it across. Got dump. it. What a nice job by that Mueller. That was a good dump. <laughs> <laughs> well, Harlan wins set number one, 25 to 16. The Cyclones have broke out to a 16 to 4 lead. They led 17 to 5 before Atlantic really got things going. And it was uh, Ineson. I'll tell you what, she had a string of serves, Samantha Ineson, to start with. And Harlan broke out to a 6 to 1 lead early on. She had five straight before Atlantic got a point on an error by Harlan Community. But the Trojans uh, fall short in set one. And we'll be back with set number two in 90 seconds. A 95.7 FM, and we're live streaming on Western Iowa Today.com. Colton, with you more involved with farming, what have you observed? Farmers don't just work harder, they farm smarter. We've definitely seen that with the Enlist Weed Control System. Oh yeah, application is dictated by the growth stage, not a set date on the calendar, and you can take mix with Liberty. Plus you have a post program that you don't have to worry about drifting into neighboring fields. Nailed it. To learn more, contact the Seed Pros. The Seed Pros, with you from the word go. The Seed Pros, Mark Van Tagger, Gary Dinklet, Nick Knutson, and John Becker. At Second Street Auto, it's our mission to get you back on the road fast. And it all starts with free local towing. Once you're back at the shop, we talk you through your car repair with a free and fair estimate. We do everything in-house so you know who's working on your car. Our Hercules tires come with free road hazard repair, free rotation for the life of the tires, and a free alignment check. And nobody can beat our transmission rebuild and repair experts. 
Brakes, tune-ups, oil changes, preventative maintenance, and service work make Second Street your first stop. Cass Health in Atlantic, Iowa is a nationally recognized hospital and we are proud of the awards and all of our recent accomplishments. But do you know what drives us to be the very best? You. We're passionate about helping our patients heal and feel their very best at any age and any stage of life. Cass Health, neighbors caring for neighbors. Welcome back to Atlantic, where the Cyclones got off to a great start with Samantha Ionson serving. She had three aces out of five serves. Ireland led 6-1 to one at one point, but they had five straight before they actually scored the six, but they had an error. But Atlantic started to play a lot better. This is going to be an interesting second set, Shelby. Well, Atlantic went in spurts. You know, they had some really good plays and they had some really bad plays. So if they can, you know, connect some of those spurts and stay in the game, you know, it's it's going to bode a lot better for them because, you know, ebbs and flows, but you want to try and minimize the errors and, and not give away as many points as they did in that first game. The freshman Jillian Satoff will serve. Good student section for Atlantic here, as you can hear him. Here's Satoff, set two, underway. Satoff deep. Ineson to Mueller. Mueller will set strong side, pushed across by Hope Preston. Atlantic has it on their side. Ball, free ball across the net. Cyclones have it, pass to Mueller. Mueller will set. Swung across by Ava Monson, and the Cyclones in the net, and the Trojans off to 1 nothing lead. Yep. That ball was pretty tight to the net, and Munson, you know, came down and hit the net on that on that swing. Here's Satoff for Atlantic. Knocks it deep, and it's good. Oh, it's out of bounds. It was close. Service here at Trojans, 1-1. Highland Atlantic are in set two on the seed pros scoreboard. Nicole Mittens in the front. Where's number four? Ineson serves to the back row. Satoff, Richter sets. And a big swing by Harder and a kill. How about that? Oh, oh wait a minute. I, Harlan, Harlan dug that ball. Atlantic was celebrating thinking it was a kill. So was I. One of the <laughs> officials blew the whistle. The other one didn't. So they're going to replay it. Okay, replay it. But Harder had a powerful hit. On the strong side, here's the uh, serve by Ineson. Richter will set for Harder again. This one goes deep, Ineson to Mueller. Mueller sets for Suizo, swings it across. Punched ahead by Bodus. now to Harder. Tip shot is to the back. Harley keeps it, Suizo tips it. Richter digs it, Lannick has it in the net. Swung across, Trojans keep it alive with Mueller. Mueller will set, here's Suizo, big swing, good. Good volley and Harley gets the kill. Suizo, Aubrey Suizo with it. You know, that was a good volley. Atlantic's moving a lot better in this second game, and, you know, they're they're really putting up a fight at the net, so they're much more engaged in this one than in the first. Ineson serve. Richter free ball across. She'll set. Harder fires and got it. Boy, Harder, when she gets her hand on it, she had 124 kills coming in, and she gets the kill there. We're tied at two. Peyton Harder's really hard to defend because, you know, with the height and the arm reach, she's able to figure out where that block is as it's going up, and she either can go around him or she goes over him pretty easy. So she is pretty dangerous at the net. Fip it back into serve, Muller out. Tied it two. Here's the serve. Line drive, punched ahead of Mueller. She'll set for Suizo. Suizo swings it across and off the fist of Harder. And a kill for the Cyclones. They take a 3-2 lead. You know, Suizo's a real tough hitter to read on a block because she's got such incredible hang time. So the block's starting to come down before she ever makes contact with the ball. Suizo, 89 kills, second highest of the team are coming in. Rust had the most. Here's Satoff on the receive. Set, Harder, big swing and good! They go middle, and Harder knocks it down with power. 3-3 three, three game. You know, and Harlan had the big set for six-foot block on her, and, you know, Peyton Harder thought, man, yeah, just another day at the office. <laughs> Schroeder will serve for Atlantic. We're tied at three. Your score brought to you by the Seed Pros. They're by your side to maximize yields. From them we go. John Becker, Mark Ventiger, Gary Dankman, Nick Anuchers, Pioneer Pros. Schroeder swings across. Nips the tape. It's Harlan's ball tipped across by Rust. Schroeder, high, harder, fires it across and good. 
They go to the strong side to Harder, although she was edging towards the middle. And Atlantic takes a 4-3 lead. Well, let's talk for a moment about the uber-athletic move that Claire Schroeder just made. You know, a one-handed set is not easy for uh, anybody, you know, let alone a setter that hits and serves and, you know, plays all the way around. Great point. 4-3 Atlantic. Schroeder serve. A lobber that doesn't make it. Tied at four on the service here. And the Cyclones will have it. Stork, the libero, Cammy Stork, the senior, 5'7", senior, don't nope, check that. Tornado will be back behind the line. Fires it across, Schroeder, pass to Richter, Richter set, strong side, tipped across by Bonus, saved by Harlan, they keep it alive, Mueller to Suizo, she'll fire it across the top of the tape, then it keeps it alive, Schroeder set, harder, fires it across, and the block of the net by Mueller. Harlan now with the pass from Mueller, and for the back row, Russ sends it across, a free ball out of bounds. And Atlantic takes a 5-4 lead. You know, another great volley. Yeah, Atlantic's moving really, really well. You know, they're finding harder on the offensive side. You know, Harlan's trying to stack the blocks up against her, which is opening up the middle and the other side. So, you know, Atlantic having a fluid offense is opening up a lot of op options for them. Atkinson fires the libero for Atlantic. Mueller gets it across. They had kind of a held ball with Mueller and Satoff. And Harlan gets the jump. They both had it at the top of the net. Cyclones tied at five. You know, that's just a battle of power right there. And, and the momentum was on Harlan's side. So, you know, great effort by Satoff. Here's Reichel. And she has a service there. Atlantic gets the point. Six to five. We talked about the way the Trojans finished. And they're picking up where they left off as they have a much better start here in set two. Yeah, they're moving a whole lot better, communicating better. I'm sure Coach Blake would like to uh, forget that first game. Morgan Bonus, super free ball across. by the barrel stork. He'll set for Moore and a big block by Rust. Erica Rust standing tall to the middle. She returns the block and a kill, and the Cyclones tied at six. You know, that was just a real tough situation for Atlantic. You know, the pass was close to the net. Schroeder did a good job staying on her side, and it was just really, really tight for Abby Muller. Stork serve and an ace. Right in front of Botus, a little miscommunication there, possibly 7-6. Cyclones with the lead of the Steve Pro's scoreboard. Much more of a battle here in set two. Stork serve. Richter pass. Schroeder. Muller fires. Saved in the back row. And the return by Satoff. Lanik now back in the defense. They'll pass it to Mueller. Mueller a strong side to Suizo. Punch it across down the line. Saved by Botus. Set for Satoff. She gets it across. Harlan now with the ball. They'll set middle. Tip shot across. Atlantic. Schroeder sets weak side. Richter back attack. Fires across the net. And the ball a hit to the net by Libero. Stork and Atlantic gets the point. We're tied at seven. You know, just a lot of hustle on both sides of the net. You know, Atlantic's really moving better than they were in the first game. And the communication has been much better. So good things happen when you move and you communicate. Here's Abby Richter. Serving for Atlantic. We're tied at seven. And there it is. Lob across. The pass to Mueller. To set middle. Tip across nicely by Ineson. And she gets the point on the tip. And Harlan takes an eight to seven lead. It's a back and forth set two. Well, and there were about five people for Atlantic on the defensive side in the area. But they just couldn't decide who was going to take the ball. Mueller serves. Richter will set. Weak side. Punched across by Satoff and returned by the Cyclones, but it hit Atlantic. And Harlan gets the point. They're up 9-7. You know, again, just tough blocking by Harlan. So, you know, Atlantic's going to have to keep an eye on the floor and try and find the open spots. Two straight for the Cyclones. Serve across. Richter sets middle. Big swing by Muller. And Ava Monson is there with the block and the point. And now Harlan up 10-7, three straight for the Cyclone. You know, there really wasn't a lot of places for Maddie Richter to go with that ball, so Harlan was able to put up a pretty solid block. Mueller serves. Bonus to Richter. Set, near side, fight across by Mittens. Harlan has it. They'll set to Suizo. She'll swing it across. Richter saves. Satoff for the back row. Gets it across the net. Harlan can't retrieve it. Trojans get the point. Ball into the net. The Cyclone just couldn't get any type of organization or offensively 
And Atlantic now down by two, ten to eight. Well, Atlantic's been real scrappy this game, and you know the good news for Atlantic is we got Harder back in the front row. So let's see if they can maximize some points here. Cyclones have it. They'll fire it across, and the Richter saves it. Mittens the free ball across the net, and they violate Atlantic. And the Cyclones now up 11 to 8. On the Seed Pro scoreboard, Samantha Idison will serve. She had three ace serves in her first five to start the game tonight. That serve is another ace off the fist of Bodas, 12 to 8. We'll see if Coach Blake might want to call a timeout here, down by four. Well, I guarantee you that next serve is going right back to Morgan Botis. So she needs to be ready for it and get a good pass up. Three in the back. Say tough on the far side. Botis the near side is harder. Here's a serve by Ineson right at Say tough ahead to Richter. Set weak side to Muller. She knocks it in the net for Atlantic. Hana gets the point. Now 13 to 8 to run a run here. Yep. The momentum is shifting a little bit. But you know, Atlantic's still in this. They can grab it back, you know, on the very next point. Samantha Ineson will serve, clears, Botus, Richter, sets it high for Harder, and we've got a whistle, Atlantic. Yep, net violation, net violation. by Maddie Richter. 14-8. Cyclones on a run here. They led 10-7. And they're up 14-8 now. Here's a serve by Samantha Ineson. They say top to Richter. They'll go strong side to Harder. Big swing and returned. Free ball across by Botus. The pass to Mueller. They'll set strong side. The monster returned by Muller. Good job by Muller at the net. Tip shot is saved by Atlantic. Free ball across by Botus. Harlan has it. Mueller sets it to the middle. And a oh, big swing oh, by yeah. Suizo. And I mean, she about knocked Saitoff off her feet. They went middle set. And Suizo checked that. Atlantic gets the point. They're going to call Harlan in the net on that one. 14-9. Trojans break that run. A 5-0 run by Hahn. Atlantic breaks it. Tap. Pippen serves. Cyclones punch it across. Satoff. Richter sets strong side harder. Big swing to the back. Ines and Mueller. They'll go middle. This time tip shot across by Monson. Richter sets for harder. Swings it hard through the block and good. They go strong side, left side harder, and she knocked it through the block. Atlantic now within four. Well, and you know, the, the, the passing for Atlantic's been real tight on the net, so credit to Maddie Richter for getting that one to Peyton Harder to where she could put it down. Here's the Fippen. Pounds the ball to the floor. Trojans have some momentum here. Fippen serve. Pass ahead to Mueller, and they went too deep. And Harder was there for Atlantic above the net. It returns it hard for the kill. The Atlantic now down by three, 14 to 11. And timeout called by the Cyclones. We're back in 30 seconds on 95.7 FM and live video streamed at westerniowatoday.com. Elkhart. Partner with the undisputed leader in Enlist E3 Soybean Genetics. With exceptional yield and value, neighbor-friendly weed control, and more new elite genetics developed faster, Stein can help you maximize profits on every acre you plant. Discover yield plus experience with Stein Enlist E3 Soybeans. Learn more at steinseed.com. Stein has yield. Contact Trey Bricks at 249-2503. Welcome back to Atlantic. The Trojans, they were victims of a run, but they put together some of their own here. Shelby McCready, it's Cyclones, went from a 10-8 lead to a 14-8 lead. 5-0 run, but Atlantic now at a 3-0 run of their own. Yeah, this game has been a real series of runs, and it's going to come down to, you know, which team can, you know, hold on mentally when it gets tight. Pippen serves deep. Samantha Ines and Amula, they'll set weak side and tipped across by Monson off a of Trojan at the net, and the Cyclones get the point. And they're up 15 to 11, so a good timeout for Harlan. Well, and Munson did a really good job of locating where Harder was and using her left arm off the block to get the point down. Ava Munson serves it again deep. Pass to Mittens, Richter sets, Botus pushes across, returned by the Cyclones twice. Atlantic has it here, Richter, a free ball across, and the Trojans get the point. 
That ball hung over the net, and what happened was Shrizo was a little too close to the net, line against the point. Yeah, I bet Shrizo would really like to have that one back because that was a gift, but, you know, she got it. She got her timing off just a little bit. 15-12 cycles by three in the seed for the scoreboard. Schroeder serve. Stork. Mueller sets and oh, swung geez. across by Suizo, and that went all the way to the back wall. That was right there, the effect of Peyton Harder being in the middle on the block. She tried to go over and ended up hitting the back wall. The Atlantic now four straight. They're down by two, 15-13. Here's a serve by Schroeder deep, and off of Inus, and Atlantic gets the point down by one. Yep. The momentum is definitely in Atlantic's corner, and they need to maximize this, especially with Peyton Harder in the front row. This is her last rotation in the front, so they need to try and build as many points as they can. One point hard lead to the Seed Pro School Board. Here's a Schroeder serve. Gets it across. Stork. Back row. Fires a free ball across the net. Bonus set for Harder. Big swing off the arms of Stork and out of bounds. Atlantic with the point. We're tied at 15. Yep. Great offensive series by Atlantic. They just need to keep their heels dug in, you know, and keep battling. Right now, the momentum's on their side. So Claire Schroeder will serve it. We're tied at 15-15. A great comeback by the Trojans on the Seed Pro scoreboard. Claire Schroeder serves it away. A line drive whistle violation, rotation violation on Holly Community. And that's the second time they've been called for that. So, you know, those are errors that you really, really can't explain. You know, they're just nonsensical to happen. Running up by one of the St. Pro School Board, 16-15. Claire Schroeder serves over the top of the tape. And the Cyclones cannot save it. And the Trojans get the point. That one took forever to get there. And it just brushed the tape, and the Cyclones couldn't handle Atlantic up by 270-15. Well, and Harlan uses the same three reception set that Atlantic does, but they suck up a little bit. So for Schroeder to drop that in front of that line was really impressive. Power behind that one by Schroeder on the serve. Mueller sets. Russ fires it across. Nice dig by Harder, and the Cyclones return it. Atlantic has it. Here's a set weak side. Richter back attack fires, and it is... It's wide. It's wide. It's out. 17-16. Cyclones now within one of the Seed Pro School Board. They won the first set. 25-16. So back to serve is Tornayton. Fires it. Schroeder. Pass to Richter. She'll set strong side to Botus. And a block of the net nicely by the Cyclone. Harder. Push it across. Mueller will set strong side. Sweezo hits it. Fippen with the dig. Harder will save it to Bonus. She'll push it across on a free ball. Harlan has it. Mueller sets it middle. Tipped across oh. by Rust and good. Boy, they set that up nicely yeah, and Rust got did. the tip and the kill. They did. You know, Harlan knows Harder's blocking in the middle. And so, you know, she, the Harlan player did an excellent job of looking to see that that uh, defense had sucked up on the other side of, of Peyton and just dropped it in the hole. Atlantic returns to serve with a free ball. Harlan has their side. Mueller will set strong side. Suizo oh. fires it down and good. Boy, that was a great set by Mueller. She had 334 of those coming in. And that one high above the net. That, that laid Aubrey Suizo get a good that hit. That was a beauty. Yep, as a hitter, you can't get a, a set much better than that. Harlan up by one, 18-17. Fippen returns to serve to Richter. Free ball across. Dig by Mueller. Suizo and Tornade returns it way high across the net. Satoff receives for Lanning to Schroeder. Set near side harder. Lobs it across. Rust. Suizo pushes one deep. Satoff returns to Schroeder for Atlantic. Now to Harder. She has to push it across. Harlan has it. Mueller sets it. Tip shot. Nice dig by Schroeder. And it went into the net. And the Cyclones up 19 to 17 in the Seed Pro scoreboard. And that was a great second hit done by, you know, Mueller for Harlan. You know, she recognized that Atlantic was on their heels, dropped it on two, and uh, Atlantic couldn't recover. Cyclones will serve it again. They have a two-point advantage, 19 to 17. Here in set number two, they won the first set 25 to 16. Now both teams have put together some mini runs here in this set. 
Well, both teams have had some really, really good strings of just really excellent play. So it's going to come down to who can piece it together the longest. Served by Tornade. Fippen pass to Richter. She's a tip shot across. Almost got a carry. And Rush returns it for a point. 20 to 17. Harlem by three. You know, that was the battle of the dumps. Each setter was dumping <laughs> it on two. And... We owe you a station identification. We'll get that to you in a moment. Tornado swings it. Schroeder for Atlantic to Richter. She'll go weak side to Harder. Swings it down and in. She went across the court. They go in a quick set on the right side, and Harder gets another kill. She had a big night. Yeah, that was a beautiful slide by Harder. You know, they thought she, they were going to put it to the middle. Richter popped it behind her back. Peyton, Peyton slid over, and uh, the Harlem blockers were caught a little off guard. Excellent slide play. At considerable serve for Atlantic. She's down by two, 2018. There's the serve. Across to uh, Stork. Free ball. Harlan gets it across. Richter will set for Atlantic. Satov, push shot. Dug out nicely by Tornade and set for Suizo. And a block by Richter. And Atlantic gets the point. Richter was out height, but she still came up with a big block for Atlantic. Trojans now down by one. Well, the one thing Maddie Richter had was timing. You know, like I said, Suizo has such hang time that the blockers have been off time-wise. Maddie was right on it. Fip and serve to Mueller. They go middle set to Russ. And she gets the ball across. Atlantic can't recover. And it's 21-19, but the Trojans almost saved it. Erica Russ leads the team and kills the coming in. She had 94. Cyclones seem to be effective in the middle, but sweezel has been tough on the outside. Yeah, they've got a couple of weapons in the front row. Atlantic with the return of the serve. Satoff knocks it across off the fingertips of Torne to Stort. And Suizo with a free ball to the deep right. Here is a set by Schroeder. Satoff fires. To the back row, Stork, Suizo, fires, Lanik with a dig. Ball still alive. Uh, I've got to go back. That was Ineson with the big hit. And it's 22-19, Harlem by three of the Seed Pro School Board. You know, and that's a tough play for Atlantic. The ball's in the air, and just to be able to turn and tap it over when you're moving backwards is tough. There's Atlantic on the reserve receive. Richter fires a block at the net by Rust. Atlantic will get the point. It goes out of bounds. 22-20, Harlow's lead is cut to two. You know, and Maddie Richter did a great job of using the block to her advantage. You know, she's 5'6", Russ is six foot tall, but you know, when the ball goes out of bounds, it's still your point. Serve deep. Harlan has it, they'll set, weak side. Russ fires, dig by Schroeder, saved by Fippen, and Schroeder free ball across, Aww. can't make it. She had hit a home run with that one from the back row. That was a good swing. <laughs> <laughs> And that one just hit the fence. 23 to 20. Harlan leads by three points to the Seed Pro scoreboard. Here's the serve by Stork. Richter, Schroeder, tips it across. Return by Harlan. Now Richter, Schroeder, free ball. Tornado to Mueller. Mueller sets middle. Tip shot by Monson. Nice dig by Fippen. Tipped across by Satoff. Harlan has it set deep. Here's Ineson. Tip shot. Saved by Richter. Ball the net. Free ball, Atlantic with Schroeder, and the ball alive on Harlan's side. They go back, far side of Mueller. They'll set for Anderson, push it across. Atlantic has the ball to the volley. Right side to Richter as he swings it across, and it is no good. Harlan gets the point. Set point, 24-20. Good volley. That was an excellent volley. There's a lot more hustle on Atlantic side of the net, and that's reflected in the score right now. Stork, Sir, Botus. Ahead to Schroeder, tipped across by Satoff. Cyclones, Mueller with the uh, tip and the score. Boy, Mueller's good at that. Like she has eyes in the back of her head. Yeah, she's got a really good read on the floor. You know, she can tell when the defense is, is resting, and uh, she's got that good second hit dump. Cyclones now up two sets to none. They went 25 16, and now 25 uh, 20 over Atlantic. We'll go to set number three. We'll see if the Trojans can. Battle back here. We're back right after this 90-second timeout at 95.7 FM. What do you have a... John here from Atlantic IV. I just wanted to thank Atlantic and the surrounding communities for allowing us to serve your meat, grocery, floral, and pharmacy needs. You can be sure that we are working hard looking for deals to save you money on your groceries and at the pump. Thanks again from all of us here at your Atlantic IV for allowing us to serve your meat, grocery, floral, and pharmacy needs. And we'll see you soon. 
this segment of Did You Know by Amy Jo is about hydraulic hoses. Well, guess what? They break. And at the worst times possible, too. Atlantic Egg and Auto can build you a new hydraulic hose most of the time faster than it takes you to even get to town. Now, don't begin a ticket race in a town to see me. Since you're here, you might as well get more hydraulic fluid, shop towels, detailing supplies, and fresh cab to keep those rodents out. Atlantic and Audubon Egg and Auto, your only locally owned CarQuest Auto Parts stores. Live video streaming on westerniowatoday.com is courtesy of Nishnanet, offering always fast internet with no gimmick pricing to select rural areas of Cass and Audubon counties. Nishnanet is a local company with local technicians and offers unlimited data on most of their internet plans. Learn more about Nishnanet and their services and products by going to their website at nishnanet.com. Nishnanet.com, technically awesome. and as you allow us to serve you with your banking business. Our commitment to you and our community has been how we've done business for over five generations, and that's why we're the only bank you will ever need. First Whitney Bank, member FDIC. Welcome back to Atlantic. As we go to set number three, Harlow will try to close it out. Atlantic will try to stay alive as... Trojans uh, competed much better in set two. And that first set, Harlan, with Samantha Einenson with three ace serves out of the first five. They took a six to nothing lead. It was six to one before Atlantic kind of battled back in that when they lost 25-16. But a much better start for Atlantic here in set two. Harlan just kind of got the advantage there. They were up 17-17, uh, uh, then they broke that tie. And outscored Atlantic down the stretch, uh, eight to three. And uh, here we are now, set number three here, Shelby. Yeah, no, it was a night and day difference between set one and set two. You know, Atlantic woke up, you know, realized their feet move, and uh, really, really good things happened. You know, they just came up short at the end. But, you know, this is where it gets gritty. This is where you dig down. This is where you got to really find it within you because it's, you know, if Atlantic's going to come back from this, they're going to have to win the next three. And so... You know, with any luck, we're in for a lot more volleyball. Well, we'll take a look at the starters here for this third set. Reichel looks like she'll be in. Libero, Stork, Mueller, the setter. Will be in the lineup is, well, it's Ava Bonson. Now Schwiezel will come in. Check that in for Reichel. Then it goes with Botus, uh, Fippen. I believe that's uh, Atkinson. Atkinson. The libero. And here we go. Reed is also now in there, I believe. We'll check yep. that. Yep. Reed is in for Atlantic. Here's a server in set number three. Richter will set. Weak side pushed across by Satoff. Atlantic has it on their side. Nice dig by Fippen, or Atkinson rather. Mueller will set. Sweezo hit. Sweezo scores. Boy, they go that strong side a lot to Suizo, and she puts hard up one to nothing. Well, you know, I will say the good thing about the officials tonight, they're letting the girls play. They're not being real hypersensitive about, you know, the touches on the ball because uh, that could have easily been called a lift. Lanning well, on the receiving end, and that's... An overpass, and yep. Suizo popped it out. So, you know, a gift for Harlan, but they popped it out of bounds. Tied at 1-1 one, one of the seed pros scoreboard here in set. Number three, Harlan wins 25-16, then 25-20. Jillian Satoff will serve it away for the Trojans. Right to left. Atlantic down two sets to none here in Atlantic in this Hawkeye 10 Conference matchup. Here's Satoff. Knocks it across deep. Stork pass Schrizo. Now near side hit across by Mons Atlantic with it. And they had a couple of players bump into each other and it Hit the floor, and that point goes to Harlan, two to one. Yeah, that was uh, that was about a three-player pileup right there. <laughs> so, little lack of communication on Atlantic's part. And Ava Monson will serve for the Cyclones. She uh, clears it. Harder, pass to Richter. Richter sets back, attack by Harder. Gets it across. Pass ahead of Mueller. She'll set middle. Return by Harder. Good job, Harder. And Mueller were there with the block. Atlantic ties it at two. Yeah, there was really 0% chance that Harlan was going to get that <laughs> through those two. They put up a pretty solid block there in the middle. 
Moeller comes out, and Jersey flipping it back in for Atlantic. 2-2 tie here in set three. Harlop two sets to none. Fippen behind the line. The righty fires right to left. Stork past Mueller. She'll set middle. Big swing oh. down the line. It's good. Whoa, what a hit. They go middle that time, and they get the point. 3-2 Cyclones. You know, again, that was a one-hand set, and that was a really impressive off offensive exchange for Harlan. Harlan goes with a one set of 6-1 compared to Atlantic's 5-2. Serve, Richter at the net, Cyclones have one hit here, Suizo free ball across. Back row, Fippen, Richter set, strong side harder, lobs one deep, Stork, Rust, Suizo, tip shot, blocked by Reed at the net. Nice shot by the freshman Reed. And Atlantic ties it at 3-3. Yeah, just good net awareness by J.C. Reed. You know, there really wasn't too many places Shizo could go with that ball, and she read the angle perfectly. 3-3 three, three tie. Schroeder to serve for Atlantic here. The seed pros scoreboard. There's the serve deep. Reichel. Mueller sets. Suizo free ball down the right side to Fippen. Schroeder will set. Strong side harder. Big swing. Dig by Stork. Mueller sets for Harlan. Suizo fires it across and good. You know, that was a great hit by Harder, but, you know, Harlan's starting to read those hits now. The dig was right there, and uh, just another great exchange between Muller and, and Schwizo for the setter-hitter combination. So Reichel will check in for Harlan. Four, three Cyclones. There's a Serb. Fippen. Richter. Free ball from the back attack by Harder. Cyclones have it. Mueller sets. Ineson tips it across. Saved by Schroeder. Mueller sets high. Big swing by Harder. Off the block and good. Nice job of the Trojans. Yeah, again, Peyton Harder just split the uh, block there. And when you've got that kind of power, odds are you're going to get it through. We're tied at four on the seed for the scoreboard. 4-4 four, four, set three. All up two sets to none. Here's the Rick, or the uh, Atkinson, rather, cross Stork. Mueller will set for Harlan and swung into the net by Erica Rust. Atlantic now takes a 5-4 lead. You know, just an unforced error on Harlan's part. You know, that was a great set. You know, the timing was just off. Atlantic has it back. Atkinson, McKay Atkinson will serve for the Trojans right to left. Atlantic up by one. Here's the serve. Deep. Stork to Libero with it to Mueller. The center goes over to Ineson. She gets the kill. Boy, that one looked good from the get-go. Mueller got it high above the net. And uh, Ineson, Samantha Ineson, swooped in and knocked it down to tie yeah, the game was, at five. There was a lot of hang time on that one also. 5-5. Five, five. Stork, serve. Bonus, Schroeder, set. Richter, tip shot, blocked right back at her by Ineson. That's two straight by Samantha Ineson. That was a block and a point for Harlan up 6-5. to five. You know, it's just really hard to win, you know, the battle if you're going to push the ball. So Atlantic needs to get back to being aggressive. Stork serves. Schroeder sets. They go strong side. Satoff gets the hit. The freshman down the near side. And she gets the kill. We're tied at six. You know, again, great pass, great set. Satoff went around the block straight down the line. They were, they were cutting her. They were expecting her to go cross court, you know, and she read the block beautifully. Botus behind the line to serve for Atlantic. Right to left. There it is, deep. Nice return by Ineson and Mueller. They'll tip it across. Monson, Atlantic with it. Richter, free ball deep. Stork for Libero. Ahead to Mueller. Mueller will set middle. Big swing, Monson. Good. They go middle Ava Monson that time, and she gets the kill 7 6 Harlan. Well, and I think with Harder on the bench, they're going to try and uh, utilize that middle hitter a little bit more because, you know, they've got strength on the outside. The blockers are starting to cheat, so I think they're going to pull them back in by utilizing the middle. Mueller's serve, Botus, Schroeder sets Satoff, and the Trojans crash it in the net. And the Cyclones get the point 8 to 6 of the Seed Pro scoreboard. Well, the Cyclones up by two. Try to close this out. Served by Mueller. Richter pass. Schroeder back to Richter. Right side swing, and it is no good. Good idea. Richter just hit it wide across the floor. Yeah, the block was setting up, taking away, you know, the, the straight line, and she just tried to cut it a little too much. 9-6. Cyclones with the lead. Mueller will serve for Hada Community. There's the serve by the lefty. Richter receives. Fippen saves. Schroeder tips it across. Here's a Monson. Mueller. Back attack way deep. 
Shorter for Atlantic. Here's Satoff. Gets it across. The freshman gets the point again. How about Jillian Satoff? That's two for her. 9-7. Atlantic cuts the lead to two. Yep. Satoff caught the uh, defense sneaking up for Harlan, and the setter reached around and wasn't able to get it. Here we go. Richter will serve for Atlantic right to left, down by two. Richter serve. Uh, Stork, Libero, Mueller, the setter. Sets middle, tipped by Monson. Dig by Michaela Atkinson. Saved by Reed. Harlan has it back. Here is Ineson. Free ball across deep. Bonus pass, Richter. Richter sets middle, tipped across by Muller. Cyclones have it. Free ball across. Dig by bonus Atlantic with the free ball Trojans save it ricochets off Michael Atkinson Reed returns it deep with a free ball Harlan has it set strong side kill they go to Suizo that ball ricocheted off the Trojans Suizo on a strong side gets a great set gets the point 10-7 Highland that's just a momentum killer right there you know Atlantic was just hustling and got under everything and uh you know, Harlan was just able to utilize them being a little off center. Ines is serve. Reed, set, Muller, kill. Great job by Richter. Muller right in the middle. They got a middle set. And Muller skied over the net and fired it down. It's 10 8 Harlan. You know, excellent exchange by Atlantic. You know, you just, Muller just simply powered that through. Here's Satoff, the freshman. Swings it across for Atlantic to Stork. Pass to Mueller. Mueller. Weak side slide, punched across by the Cyclones. Richter sets harder, big swing. Nice block of the net by Munson. And Hope Preston was there as well. Preston gets it across. Reed to Richter. Atlantic has it set for harder, push shot. Saved, a nice dig by Mueller. Back to Ineson, back attack. Uh She swung and missed. And Atlantic gets the point. They went to Ineson on the back line and she didn't get all of it. Atlantic within one ten to nine. Pretty much hit it with her elbow. (laughs) <laughs> Just calling it as I see it. Yep. Satoff will serve it for Atlantic right to left. 10-9, Cyclones by one of the Seed Pro scoreboard. They lead two sets to none here. And we're waiting as we uh, wipe up the floor on the Cyclone side. And Abby Mueller getting it all cleaned up for Highland Community. Highland won 25-16, 25-20. We've got a close one here at 10-9. Atlantic trails by one of the seed pro scoreboard. Here's Jillian Satoff, knocks it across. Suizo to Mueller, back to Suizo, strong side swing, gets it across. Bonus to Richter, set for harder. She'll swing one deep. Ineson to Mueller, back middle set to Monson, returned by Atlantic. And again, Richter and Peyton Harder there, the Trojans. They had a net volley, and Atlantic wins. Yeah, that was that was pure Harder versus Munson, and, uh, you know, Peyton Harder was going <laughs> to win that one. We're tied at 10. Satoff serve. Stork to Mueller. They go strong side to Suizo. Punch across the court. Satoff dig. Set. Harder swings to the block. Back row. Stork. Mueller sets. Here's a big swing by Ineson for the back line. Return by Muller. Now Suizo. Muller at the net. Richter sets harder, fires to the block and good. Boy, Atlantic had to defend some onslaughts there. And they saved it. They got to Harder. She gets the kill. Atlantic up by one, 11 to 10. And that's where the money is right now. You know, Harlan doesn't have an answer for Peyton Harder. And so they've just got to keep focusing on keeping her in the offense. Stays off. A lot of adrenaline there. And she sends that across the back line for service there. And that ties the score at 11-11 here. On the Seed Pros scoreboard, third set. Aubrey, or excuse me, Monson with a serve. Here's the pass. Harder for the back line. Fires it across. Mueller sets. Swung across by Suizo down the line and out of bounds. Atlantic up 12 to 11. Well, and Atlantic really needs to minimize the free balls. You know, Harlan hit that one wide, but when you give the opposing team a free ball, you're pretty much letting them set up their offense however they want. So Atlantic's going to have to really dig down, get some better passes to avoid those free balls. Rip and serve. Stork. Mueller will set. Weak side. Swing! And Peyton Harder was there as they go to Preston Hope. Harder was there to get the block, but the Cyclones get the point. It went out of bounds. We're tied at 12. Well, and Harlan hasn't been going offsides very much tonight. You know, they chose to when uh, Peyton Harder was right there. 
Here's a serve on the Cyclones. Reed, Richter sets middle, harder, bang, and deep. Ooh, that one was close, but out of bounds. Go well, check that, Shelby. Are they going to call a touch? I thought it went off a Harlem player's. There you go. It's called a touch. I mean, Man, that uh, harder. She has had a night, hasn't she? It was a hair touch, but <laughs> still a touch. By a coat of paint, wasn't it? Yeah. Here's a serve by Schroeder. Harlan with it now. Atlantic. Schroeder sets harder. Fires through the block and good. Boy, Atlantic, they don't want to go home. 14 to 12. Trojans by two. Timeout Cyclones. And we'll take it with them back in 30 seconds. Rolling Hills Bank and Trust. Here at Rolling Hills Bank and Trust, we're dedicated to agriculture. That's why we offer various services that fit your growing ag needs. All our decisions are made locally by experienced lenders that truly understand the unique challenges of your operation. We're large enough to handle all your lending needs, yet small enough not to lose that personal touch. Our dedicated loan officers want to work with you to help your operation grow and thrive. Feel free to stop in and talk about how we can help your business succeed. Rolling Hills Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Welcome back to Atlantic. 14-12, the Trojans by a pair. And this battle, Cyclones come back out of their timeout. Schroeder will serve for the Trojans. Atlantic by two. 14-12 on the seed pros scoreboard. Claire Schroeder to serve for the Trojans. She'll send it across. Tornayton. Mueller, tip shot by Russ, saved by Harder. Here's Atlantic. They'll go weak side to Richter. Big swing to the block, and good. Boy, Richter's had a good, some good luck on that right side, and she fired it through the block. Atlantic up 50 to 12. Well, and that was a really smart decision. You know, the Harlan blockers are cheating towards Harder, so to take it opposite side to Richter, you know, that was a really, really good move. Richter came in with 41 kills, and she's added to that tonight. Harlan with it now. Shrizo free ball deep. Pippen to Schroeder. She'll set strong side. Harder fires it down the line. Nice save by Tornaden. Returned by Harlan. Atlantic has it. Here's Schroeder setting. Middle. Botus got it. Atlantic gets the point. 16 to 12. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> Morgan Botus is going to have to work on her poker face because even she <laughs> looks surprised on that one. It well, was a good swing. It was just power. Yeah. Here's Schroeder. Atlantic it by four. Deep. Tornaden, Stork, Mueller, free ball from the back line, gets it across, Fippen to Schroeder. They're going to have to go harder, free ball to Stork for Harlan. Mueller sets, go back attack by Ineson, out of bounds. Atlantic up 17 to 12. How about this run? Well, you know, Atlantic's been real solid on the offensive side. Um, you know, they've got Harlan a little off balance. I don't know if the back row attack would have been uh, the choice I would have made, but, you know, Ionson had a good swing at it. She just popped it out of bounds. Atlantic on a 5-0 run here. And they're waiting as Schroeder wipes her hands off and gets the ball back. Good officiating tonight here in Atlantic as well. 17-12, Atlantic up by 5 on the Steve Pro scoreboard. Clears Schroeder to serve. Knocks it deep and out of bounds. Well, the run was a good one. And Harley gets the point of the service there, 17-13. You hate to see the run end on another oh, service boy. error. Trojans uh, broke a 12-12 tie and led 17-12 before the error. Cyclones have the serve. Swing across is Kester's now in there. Botus with a swing. Harlan has a third side. Tipped across and good by Russ. Oh, net violation. Ah. Yeah, the net is a moving, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 17 and 14. Harlan now within three. They've scored two straight. We'll see here. We're waiting for a rotation. Rust is standing on the sideline. Reichel will serve now for the Cyclones. Rust is in there, and out goes Monson. So Rust will be in the middle. There's a serve. Deep by Reichel. And Fippen can't get the pass. And the Cyclones get the point now. Down by two, 17-15. Harlan trying to close things out. Atlantic trying to stay in the gym. Two-point lead for Harlan Community. Here's Reichel. Fires across. Fippen pass to Richter. Back attack by Schroeder and knocks it into the net. Now Cyclones come back. Down by one. 17-16. The seed. 
Rose scoreboard. And they now have scored four straight. Reisel served deep. Tipped high by Satoff. Richter to Harder from the back line. Fires it across. Free ball. Here's the Harlan. Mueller sets weak side. Russ fires good. They did that slide with Russ coming to the back of the setter, and she knocked it across the floor and in. Five straight for Harlan. We're tied at 17. Yeah, I think everybody thought they were going to go to the middle with Rusk, and uh, she pulled the slide on the weak side, and the block just didn't make the adjustment. Harlan five in a row. Reichel will serve it again for Harlan Community. 17-17 time to seed pro school board. Coach Blake is talking to one of the officials, the floor official. And uh, still discussing. I oh. believe uh, we've got uh, evidently... A, a little wound we need to little, tend to. A little cut by Morgan Bonus. We'll go recap here while they fix up Morgan there on the far side. Harlan jumped out to an early uh, 6-0 lead in that first set. Samantha Ines had three ace serves. And Harlan just set the tone early in set one. They went on to win 25-16. to They led by a score of 16-4 to at one point. Atlantic was able to outscore the Cyclones down the stretch but couldn't overcome the huge, huge uh, Mount McKinley that they had yeah. to climb there. And it was a nine-point Harlan win in set one. Set two, a lot more competitive, but Harlan pulled away late uh, to win that one 25-20. to And we've got a battle here right now at 17-17. to As Morgan Botus uh, being attended to on the far side by uh, Coach Blake. Broadcast brought to you in part by Elkhart Plastics. Integrity, optimism, customer focus, and a can-do spirit. Go to MyersIndustries.com forward slash careers to fill out an application. Also brought to you by the Fish Store and Pet Center, your local one-stop pet shop in downtown Atlantic. And Morgan Bonus getting a tape job on that right hand. Yeah, good news. They don't have to amputate. Yeah, she's going to be fine. <laughs> she's, For as long as it took, I went to the I don't know if she is what they do. Jammed the finger what she did, but she's going to play. And Reichel will serve. The sophomore gets it across. Fifth and to Richter. Go middle to Tarter. Tip shot. Returned by Rust and pushed across by Schroeder. Harlan sets it. Far side. Trojans get the point. They try to go to Ineson on that strong side. Atlantic gets the point of the error. And the Trojans up 18-17. to 17. Well, just a big communication error by Harlan. And what this game's going to come down to is who makes the fewer mistakes. You know, the unforced errors are going to be the uh, story of this one. Atlantic up by one of the seed pro school board, 18-17s. Served by Fippen. Mueller sets. Russ fires. And saved by Fippen, but it's against the wall. Harlan ties it now at 18-18. Really great hustle on Atlantic's part. You know, their, their feet are moving really, really well. They're just going to have to get the angles on these balls to get them up instead of popping back. Here's Stork to serve. Gets it deep. Fippen pass ahead to Schroeder. She'll set middle. Richter fires and too deep. And Harlan takes a one-point lead, 19-18. On the seed pro scoreboard. They're going to call a net violation on Harlan. Ah, check that. Atlantic up 19 to 18. And the Trojans have the serve. And a one point lead, trying to make it into the fourth set here. Big swing by Bonus across. Here's Bueller's set. And a tip by Munson, blocked by Muller. Abby Muller was there. And the Trojans now by 2, 20 to 18. Yeah, major timing issue on Harlan's side. You know, Munson, Munson left the ground way before she should have and had a hard time, you know, even connecting with that ball. Morgan Botus to serve for Atlantic. Trojans by 2. There's a deep serve. Mueller will set it up in the middle. A nice dig by Botus. Free ball across by Richter. Cyclones have it. Mueller's tip shot. Yeah. Good. She did it again. Well, and it's, you know, Atlantic was running after that ball and trying to get back into place. And, you know, Mueller recognized the fact that they were not where they needed to be and did that good second hit dump. 20 to 19. Atlantic up by one of the safe road scoreboard. Mueller will serve. Richter receives and a bad pass. An error by Atlantic. And that ties the game now for the Cyclones 20-20. We're in set three. Harlan up two sets to none over Atlantic. And Mueller will serve. 
Knocks it across off the top of the tape, and it's going to be good. I'll tell you, I've been impressed with Mueller. Yeah, she's got a great set of hands. You know, she's very mobile, and uh, that was a deadly serve right mm, there. Boy, Mueller is a junior. Serves about 90.4% of the year. There's a serve That's deep a and out of bounds. Yep. Lanning ties it 21. Yep. Again, you know, the unforced errors. I, I guarantee you she'd like to have that one back. Maddie Richter will serve for Atlantic. Trojans trying to stay alive here. They're down by two sets. Reed is back in for the Trojans. The youngster, J.C. Reed, the sophomore. There's the serve. Mueller will look to Monson. Tip shot. Nice dig out by Richter. Gets it across. Here is Reichel. Pushed across to Hope. And she knocks it into the net. Atlantic up 22-21. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if that was a miscommunication or what, but when you're going to push the ball, it's usually over the net. Hope Preston with the hit into the net. Here's Maddie Richter, fires it across the jump serve. Ineson to Mueller. They'll set for Munson. Tip shot. Nice dig by Richter, and Atlanta can't get it. It's returned nicely by Munson in the middle, and we're tied at 22-22. Even with the score tied, though, what you're seeing right now is Harlan's being timid because they've pushed about the last three uh -huh. points. So, you know, they're not confident with their hitting right now. Samantha Ineson with a serve for Harlan off the top of the net. Lennox sends it across on a free ball. Mueller will set for Squeezo down the line. Botus. Saitoff, the freshman, gets it across. Ineson to Mueller. She'll set in the middle. Tipped across by the Cyclones. Here's Atlantic. Fippen. Knocked across by Reed and too deep by the sophomore J.C. Reed. And now it's a 23-22 lead for the Harlan community as they try to close this out and head north. Here's a serve by Samantha Ineson to Botus. Reed, pass, Richter, free ball up the back line and gets uh, it. Communication area. Just a free ball off the back attack, and that one, like you said, Shelby, with Suizo and Stork, miscommunication. Atlanta gets the point. We're tied at 23 on the scene throw. Schoolboy Satoff serve. Nice one to Stork. Mueller will set. They go weak side slide, and a block by Harder at the net. And Atlanta now set point, 24-23. Well, and that miscommunication on Harlan's point was huge. That, that last point was enormous because it got harder back into the rotation. Timeout is called. We'll take it with them. We'll be back in 30 seconds right after this from Body Basic Chiron. Elkhart Plastics in Atlantic has a career opportunity for you. They're currently looking to hire first and second shift oven operators, first shift assemblers and maintenance personnel, along with competitive pay and shift differential offered for second shift. Elkhart Plastics offers medical, dental, vision, company paid life and disability plans, as well as vacation, paid holidays, education reimbursement and retirement savings plans. Go to MyersIndustries.com forward slash careers to view openings and fill out a application. Elkhart Plastics is an equal opportunity and affirmative action employer. Oh, we've got a good one here. Atlantic trying to stay alive down two sets to none. Up by one. Here's a set served by Satoff at a set point. Mueller set for Suizo. Pushes down the line. Richter to Reed. Set Smittle. Muller got it. Atlantic wins it. 25-23. The Trojans will send it to set number four. Yeah, again, you saw Harlan get passe for about the last five points. You're not going to win pushing the ball. So Harlan got real passive, Atlantic got aggressive, and uh, the game goes to Atlantic. So the Trojans will send it to set four. Harlan up two sets to one, 25-16, 25-20, and they lose set three, 23 to 25, and the Trojans... Well, take it to set number four. We may go five, Shelby. Yeah, we might. <laughs> we know? might. What a That's job. That's what I said. If Atlantic's going to come back, we've got a lot more volleyball to play. Well, we'll take a timeout. We'll be back in 90 seconds here on 95.7 FM and live video stream at westerniowatoday.com. We might not go 90 seconds. Let's go 30. We're back in a half a minute. 
The perfect companion is waiting for you at the Fish Store Pet Center in Atlantic. Pick out a furry guinea pig, hamster, or mouse. Maybe something feathered. They have an aviary full of birds to choose from. What about something scaly, like a snake, lizard, or hermit crab? And it's in their name. A wide variety of fish are available at the Fish Store and Pet Center. Get all the food and accessories you need to keep that new addition to your family happy and healthy. The Fish Store and Pet Center in Atlantic, a pet lover's paradise. And welcome back to Atlantic as the Trojans able to survive and to keep this match alive. Harlan up two sets to none, but the Trojans battle. And they win the final third set here, 25-20 through what would have been the final for Harlem, but uh, give the Trojans credit. Yeah, they fought back. You know, it's real easy in, when, when you've lost the first two to kind of, you know, lose a little steam for that third one, but Atlantic went the other way. It's like they want to forget that first one. They're angry about the second one, so they're going to come back and, and fight like a bunch of rabid dogs. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jillian Satoff, the freshman, will serve it away. High school football tomorrow night. We'll have Atlantic and Creston. Pre-game at six. Kickoff at seven. Perry Fief and Kevin Ferguson and Cody Weaver will join me for the broadcast from Atlantic Trojan Bowl. And uh, halftime interview with Mr. Andy Neiman, the athletic trainer. Also CCMH staff member will talk to him. We're underway. Served by Satoff, Mueller. And it's sent across on a free ball by Einison. The Botus, Richter, set strong side, tip back to Atlantic. Nice job by Harlan. Here's Harder, free ball, Dave Stork. Mueller set strong side, Suizo tips and good. Now that's Einison, excuse me. Einison got it one to nothing. Cyclones up, 1 0 on the Seed Pros scoreboard. He started about 7 of 15. Cedar Knight here in Atlantic. Here's a serve across. Dig by Harder. Richter will set. Weak side of Abby Muller. And she powers one across. For the kill, we're tied at one. You know, that was an excellent pass. Great set. You know, and Abby Muller just really rode that line hard outside of the block. Muller comes out. And in comes Jersey. Fip and a serve for the Trojans. 1-1, one, one, four set. Harlow two sets to one. Here's a serve by Fippen. Stork to Mueller. She'll set on a slide. Tip shot. Good. Ava Monson slid behind on the weak side and tipped it across. Harlan 2-1 on the seed pro scoreboard. Yeah, we're going on about uh, seven, eight points here where Harlan hasn't <laughs> taken a swing at the uh -huh. ball. So this Good. could be a long night for them if they're not going to start to uh, swing at the ball. Monson served deep. Fippen sent it high to Richter. Now set for bonus. Tip shot across. Mueller. To Ineson, they go to Suizo. She'll knock it in the net. Atlantic ties it at 2 2. The Atlantic blockers have really gotten into the Harlan hitters' minds right now, and you can see that by their choices. You know, Suizo's been real confident tonight, but she was more concerned about where Harder was than uh, getting the ball over the net. Harder, six feet tall. Here's Schroeder's serve across Preston. Tip shot by Rust. Dig by Harder, set across by Schroeder. Harlan has it. Ineson, a high set, and Hope Preston gets it across. Nice dig by Schroeder. Back to Harlan. Ineson sets. Schwezo hits. Lanik's point. Schwezo too deep. Lanik up three to two. Yeah, the Harlan hitters right now are just not swinging with any confidence. They're either pushing the ball or they're hitting it out of bounds. So this is a great momentum for Atlantic. Here's Claire Schroeder to serve for the Trojans. Lobs it across. Preston, Mueller, Russ swings in the net. Atlantic up four to two. Now yeah, the Trojans definitely have the momentum here. And there's Schroeder will serve. Atlantic by two on the seed pro scoreboard. Here's a serve by Claire Schroeder. Knocks it deep. Stork pushes one ahead to Schwezo. And a back attack by Russ. Schroeder sets. Here's harder for the back line. She'll fire it across. Stork. Mueller sets back attack. Big swing, Ineson. Dig by Fippen. Set for Harder. Swings into the block of the net no, by Russ. No, no, what a job by go. Russ. Yeah, it didn't go. 4-3. Atlantic's lead cut to one of the seed pros school board. Harlan up two sets to one. 
And coming in to serve for the Cyclones is Carly Tornaden. Tornaden clears the net. Dug out by Schroeder, but it goes out of bounds. Now we're tied at 4-4 on the Seed Crows scoreboard. Tornado will serve it again for Hanna left to right. Where's number four? Gets it across. Fippen tried to dig. Another ace serve by Tornado. Yeah, she's doing a really good job of dropping that ball into the hole right in front of that three-man reception. So they're gonna, Atlantic's either going to have to adjust or... Uh, Tornado served deep. Schroeder pass to Richter. She'll set for Bodas. Swings hard down the line. Gets the point. Atlantic ties it at 5-5. They go strong side to Morgan Bodas. And, you know, Bodas did a really good job. The double block was there taking away cross court, and she did an excellent job of riding straight down the line. McKay Atkinson will be in to serve the barrel for Atlantic. Atkinson knocks it across. Tornate to Mueller. Mueller sets for Russ. Tip shot across. Fippen. Satoff, Schroeder, free ball deep. Tornayton, Mueller, Satch, San Srizo, hits block by Richter. And Bonus at the net on a double block. On a free ball across. Bonus, Schroeder, Sat, Satoff, tip. Trojans point. How about that? Six to five. That was a really good ball placement. You know, Satoff had the double block, just popped it right over both of them, and uh, the defense got caught sleeping. Satoff, just a freshman for Atlantic. Has earned that starting spot midway through the year. Atkinson serve. They'll get it out of bounds. Atlantic's point again. They went back to Stork. Atlantic up 7-5. to five. You know, miscommunication on Harlan's part. And, uh, yeah, I would agree with that timeout. Timeout called Harlan. And we'll take it with them. We're back right after this one-minute timeout. Olson's Outdoor Power is your one-stop service and equipment shop for all things outdoor. We sell the best power sports products in the business from Polaris, Can-Am, Sea-Doo, and Ski-Doo, trailers to tackle any job from H&H, Triton, and Wilson, and we continue to lead the way at lawn and garden equipment with great products from x Dixie Chopper, Husqvarna, Cub Cadet, Steel, and Echo. Add factory trained technicians in two locations, and it's easy to see why Olson's Outdoor Power is the leader in all things outdoor. Olson's Outdoor Power, your one-stop service and equipment shop with locations in Atlantic and Carroll. First Windy Bank is the longest standing locally owned bank in Atlantic, and as such, we take pride in how we serve our community. For generations, we have been involved with our customers and their families by getting involved in community events and by supporting technology and teaching financial literacy in our schools. You'll also see our support of athletics on the scoreboards at home events. It's this involvement that allows us to know our customers and their families for generations. First Windy Bank, the only bank you'll ever need. Member FDIC. serves in the net. It's 7-6. Cyclones have it back. Reichel serve. Atkinson at the Schroeder. Satoff for the back line. A back attack and she gets the point. Boy, the freshman has really picked up her game. Yeah, she really has. She's hitting with a lot of confidence right now, you know, and uh, that's exactly what Atlantic needs. 8-6. Atlantic by two on the seed. Closed scoreboard. Set four. Highland up two sets to one. Here's Bo to serve. Pass ahead to Mueller. She'll set for Schmizo. Tipped across. Schroeder to Richter. She'll tip it over to Reichel. Mueller has it for Harlan. Big swing and a block. Satoff and Abby Mueller were there. They're related. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're cousins. Nine to six. Landing by three. On the suit pro scoreboard, here is Bonus. Serves it deep and out of bounds. Service here, Atlantic 9-7. Trojans by two. <laughs> so it's uh, going to be Stork to serve it away. Cammie Stork, the senior, 5-7 senior, gets it across, and she gets the ace. 9-8, Atlantic's lead cut to one on the seed pro scoreboard. Cammie Stork will serve it again, the senior for Harlan Community. Richter, Bodas, Sam, and Atkinson in the back row. Bodas has it. Now they'll set across by the Trojans. Too many hits. And we're tied at nine. Harlan too straight. And it'll be Stork serving again. Here's a serve by Stork. Bodas pushes ahead. Schroeder sets. Strong side. Muller too deep. And three straight by Harlan Community, and they lead 10 to 9. 
you know, again, it's just the errors. You know, Harlan quit swinging, you know, has been playing push ball. Atlantic still swinging, but when you do that, you run the risk of making some mistakes. Here's a tip across by Schroeder, the setter. Mueller will set, and the big swing, and Ineson gets the kill. They go strong side, and Ineson with the big hit. And Harlan up 11 to 9. Yeah, Harlan is swinging again. Yeah, yep. Stork serve, Botus. Off her fingertips, flipping ahead, or Atkinson rather, to Schroeder. Maddox has on the defensive end of yeah. Mueller. There she is. Was... They go to the center of Mueller. She has a nice tip and across. She, she even faked me out on that one. I well, would have yeah. bet a lot of money she was going to the middle on that one. Timeout, Coach Blake will take it with her. We're back in 30 seconds. A 95.7 FM and live videos. After years of wondering why I see more runners than other athletes, I figured it out. Well, a sophomore hurdler explained it to me. This is Dr. Fritz Beyer of Body Basics Chiropractic, and he told me since my hips started acting up, I lost one second from my time. One second in a 55-second race is less than 2%, but he knew it instantly because the stopwatch told him. In other sports, there's not a stopwatch to tell you when the nagging injury takes 2% from you. To make sure you're giving your 100%, call 254-BODY to get your body back to the basics. We got a battle here. Holland trying to go home. Atlantic trying to stay home. Or stay in the gym, I should say. Holland up 12 to 9. Here's a serve by Stork deep. Richter pass head to Schroeder. She'll set strong side. And Muller down the line. And Atlantic gets the point. What a job by Muller. That was a really well placed hit. You know, went through the blockers and. Uh... That was a really nice job by Abby Muller. 12-10. Cyclones lead to cut to two on the seed. Pro scoreboard. J.C. Reed, the sophomore, back in. Here's Maddie Richter's serve for life. A jump serve. Right shoulder Mueller. They'll go strong side to Munson, and she got it down. Atlantic had a couple of blockers there, and Reed and Muller, but Cyclones able to get the point, and they're up by 3-13-10. You know, Atlantic's done a really good job hustling. They're moving their feet really well, and, uh, you know, they're playing tough. Mueller's serve. Atkinson to Richter. Back row shot by Muller. Across to Harlem. Mueller sets. Tip shot across by Munson. She got it to go. And Harlem up 14 to 10. And still serving. Mueller's serve. Bonus can't get the pass. Oh, it got across. Harlan has it. They'll send one deep. Bonus again to Richter. She'll set. And a swat across by Muller. Harlan saves it. Ineson, free ball deep. Atkinson to Richter. Set middle. Big swing by Muller. Gets it across to Mueller for Harlan. And Hope Preston knocks it across the court and in. They went weak side. And Hope Preston gets the kill. And Harlan up by 5, 15 to 10. You know, I think that was a little miscommunication on Atlantic's part. You know, she hit that flat-footed. One of the blockers went up, and uh, the defense didn't adjust. Mueller will serve it again for the Cyclones. Here it is in the net. Atlantic gets the point down by four. 15 to 11 on the Steve Pro school board. And Jillian Satoff, the freshman, will serve it for Atlantic. Satoff is in there with Harder. Reed, Muller, Richter, Bonus. There's a serve, and it's out of bounds. Mm. That's a tough time for a service error. 16 to 11. <laughs> Five point lead for the Cyclones. The Seed Pros go more than set four. Samantha Ineson serve across. Harder pass ahead to Reed, and it's returned at the net by Preston Hope, who's come alive here in set four for Harlem. 17-11, Cyclones with the lead. And the serve. Samantha Ineson will deliver it again. Here it is. Deep, harder. Pass to Richter. Set back to harder. Back attack. Fires it across. And she got it. 17-12. Atlanta gets the point. Well, Harlan's playing deep on harder because usually she puts a lot of power on the ball. So they're actually pushing back. And uh, she took a little speed off of it <laughs> that time and uh, caught them on their heels. That was a big time changeup. That was that was it. <laughs> that was a definite changeup. Here's Fippen. Jersey Fippen knocks it across. Nice dig out by the Cyclones and a free ball. Bodus 
Richter weak side. Reed swats it through the double block. Reed gets the point for Atlantic. 17-13. You know, and credit to J.C. Reed. You know, the last time she swatted at the ball, she sent it out of bounds. And she hit that ball with a lot of uh, intensity and confidence. And that's exactly what Atlantic needs. Four-point Harna lead to the Sea Pro School Board. Here's Jersey Pippen serves, swats it to Stork for Harlan. Mueller will set, tipped across, and Atlantic is not going to be able to get it. Oh, Richter did get it. Back to Stork. Mueller sets for Harlan. Big swing, Suizo, and good. Boy, what a great set by Mueller, and Suizo skied in the air and knocked it off the top of the net. Yeah, Reed, Reed and uh, Botus weren't able to get together on that block, and Suizo just separated them beautifully. 18-13, Harlan up by five on the Steve Pro school board. Abel Monson serves it. Fippen to Richter. Swung across by Botus, deep to Monson. Mueller will set for Suizo again. Kaboom. Yeah. Oh, oh he should have went out. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, 18-14, Atlantic might have caught a break there. Uh, I think maybe they did. <laughs> that one was... I, I have old lady eyes, so I'm not saying anything. <laughs> well, Coach Satoff, he's, he's grinning. 18-14, Atlantic down by four. Here's the swing by Schroeder. The stork. Mueller will send back attack, and Ines, a nice serve across. Atlantic will save it. Set for harder. Good. She meant to swing hard. It went off her knuckles, and she still got the point. As I say, that, that was a little change up as well there. Not intentional, but it works. <laughs> Atlantic now cuts the hard on lead to three on the Steve Fruit School Board. Here's Claire Schroeder to serve for Atlantic. 18 15, Holland set four. There's the swing. And off of Hope Preston. Stork saves it behind the line. Rust will get across at a free ball. Lannick has it. Schroeder sets it. Here's Bonus tip. Returned by Harlan. Saved by Schroeder. Hit across by Bonus, and she got it. It's oh, no, well, they might have got a return on that. Yeah. That was close on the back line. And Harlan up 19 to 15. Close work on that line. Cyclones by four, and the seed pros scoreboard set four. And the serve by <laughs> Tornayton and in the net. Atlantic down by three, 19-16. On the seed pro scoreboard. Trojans will serve it with Michaela Atkinson on the barrel. Here it is, deep. Tornayton. Mueller, they go right side and a slide, and they got it. Nice job by Harlan. I believe that was Schwezo that slid across yeah, to the they, weak side. They utilized Schwezo on the weak side. Like I said, Harlan hasn't taken a lot to the offside, but they, they've perfected the slide that time. 2016, Harlan with the lead on the seed for the school board serve. Richter sets. Satoff hits deep. Reichel and oh, Mueller with the tip. Jump. The center has done that multiple times tonight. And she tips it across. 21-16, Harlem with the lead on the seed pro school board. And she just always finds the hole. I mean, her visibility of the floor has just been outstanding tonight. Good, 30 kills coming in. Lanik with it off the serve. Tipped across by Richter. The set middle, Ross swings and gets it. 21-16, they went a middle set to Erica Rush for Harlan Community, and the side closed up by six. And a timeout is called by Coach Blake. We'll take it with her. We're back in 30 seconds, so 95.7 FM, and live video streamed at westernhourtoday.com. Colton, with you more involved with farming, what have you observed? Farmers don't just work harder, they farm smarter. We've definitely seen that with the Enlist Weed Control System. Oh yeah, application is dictated by the growth stage, not a set date on the calendar, and you can take mix with Liberty. Plus you have a post program that you don't have to worry about drifting into neighboring fields. Nailed it. To learn more, contact the Seed Pros. The Seed Pros, with you from the word go. The Seed Pros, Mark Van Tegger, Gary Dinklet, Nick Knutson, and John Becker. KS 95.7 is KSWI Atlantic, a proud part of Meredith Communications. KS 95.7. Here we go. Cyclones will serve it away. This is Reichel. Gets it across. Atkinson. 
They'll tip it by bonus and return nicely by Harlan the net. And the Cyclones get a tip back by Tornaden. 23-16 Harlan. Here's a serve by Reichel. Matt gets in a free ball and the return by Harlan saved by Satoff. Atlantic returns it. Cyclones have it. Mueller wrote a tip uh, shot. Got uh, it again. <laughs> Mueller got it again. <sighs> Mueller, the server, or the center for the Cyclones, right there at the net and she found a big opening again. Set point Harlan and match point Harlan. Reichel serve. Atkinson to Schroeder. Fip and free ball. Cyclones keep it alive. They'll set for Ineson. Game over. Harlan finished strong at 25-16. And set four. And they beat Atlantic three sets to one here in Atlantic tonight. We'll take a two-minute timeout. We're back with some post-game coverage here at 95.7 FM and live video stream at westerniowatoday.com. Colton, with you more involved with farming, what have you observed? Farmers don't just work harder. They farm smarter. We've definitely seen that with the Enlist Weed Control System. Oh yeah, application is dictated by the growth stage, not a set date on the calendar, and you can take mix with Liberty. Plus you have a post program that you don't have to worry about drifting into neighboring fields. Nailed it. To learn more, contact the Seed Pros. The Seed Pros, with you from the word go. The Seed Pros, Mark Van Tagger, Gary Dinklet, Nick Knudsen, and John Becker. At Second Street Auto, it's our mission to get you back on the road fast. And it all starts with free local towing. Once you're back at the shop, we talk you through your car repair with a free and fair estimate. We do everything in-house so you know who's working on your car. Our Hercules tires come with free road hazard repair, free rotation for the life of the tires, and a free alignment check. And nobody can beat our transmission rebuild and repair experts. Brakes, tune-ups, oil changes, preventative maintenance, and service work make Second Street your first stop. Cass Health in Atlantic, Iowa is a nationally recognized hospital, and we are proud of the awards and all of our recent accomplishments. But do you know what drives us to be the very best? You. We're passionate about helping our patients heal and feel their very best at any age and any stage of life. Cass Health, neighbors caring for neighbors. Outfitters Plus in Atlantic is making it easier for teams, coaches, groups, and you to host your group's orders online with their online store. Custom printed shirts, sweatshirts, all of your team apparel. Outfitters will design the graphics, post them on the web, give you the link to share with your team or group, and they can order themselves all online. No more order forms to lose, sizes to keep track of, or money to hold on to. Let Outfitters Plus set up an online store for your team or group today. Give them a call at 243-4379. That's 243-4379. Outfitters Plus in Atlantic. The Super Bowl in Atlantic is a staple of Cass County get-togethers. From family reunions, birthday parties, night out with friends, and a fun date night, the Super Bowl has always been here. With glow bowling on Fridays and Saturdays, bumpers and ramps for kids, anyone can have a blast at the Super Bowl. Get the ball rolling on your next night out and get-together. Call Dan at 243-4656 to book the Super Bowl in Atlantic. Run and then, you know, be stymied by a service error, you know, and those are the kind of mistakes that I'm sure Coach Blake would really like to eliminate because it is a momentum killer. And, uh, you know, again, ebbs and flows, Atlantic's consistency, you know, I think they definitely want to forget that first game. They played really well in the second, third, and the fourth, but you've got to establish more consistency to keep those runs going. And, you know, you could really tell when Harder was out of the game, you know, Harlan really took back over control. Yeah. So it was just a, an, an, an issue of managing when Harder wasn't on the floor. Once again, Harlan with the win, and we're going to talk to Atlantic head coach Michelle Blake here. She makes her way to the press area. We're going to take a 30-second timeout. We're back right after this with Coach Blake. Cass Health in Atlantic, Iowa, is a nationally recognized hospital, and we are proud of the awards and all of our recent accomplishments. But do you know what drives us to be the very best? You. We're passionate about helping our patients heal and feel their very best at any age 
and any stage of life. Cass Health, neighbors caring for neighbors. Welcome back. Good post game here at 95.7 FM and live video streamed on Western Iowa Today. Com. We're athletic head coach Michelle Blake. Well, Harlan uh, off to a good start in set one. They jumped out 6-0. Ineson uh, on a roll early. Uh, but then you recovered nicely the rest of the way, coach. Yeah, you know, that first set, <laughs> I wish I could forget the first set. Can we like go, can we go back that, yeah. and replay the first set all over again? Um, you know, that that was really a momentum killer for us in the first set. Um, we just, I don't know, there, there's no, I mean, we just couldn't get a rhythm going. We couldn't get things going passing, hitting, setting wise. And, um, you know, I, I thought the second set was ours. I mean, I the way that we played early on, um, I thought we were going to come away with the second set. So, um, you know, in that one, it, it just, I think it was, what, 25-20, I think it ended up being in the second set. Well, so. I want to go back to the first set, though. You're down 16-4, to four, and the final was was uh, 25-16, so things started to come together. At yeah, that and that's what, exactly what I told the girls. I said once, like once we stopped that big run, you know, they we scored, we spotted them freaking 14 points. You know, once once we got in rhythm, we outscored them in the second half of the set. But it's like we can't dig ourselves in a 14-point hole and then expect it to be easy to come out. You know, we're yeah. battling for our lives at that point, and you know, it it be you know even if it's set four, like that can't happen. We can't let a team have that big of a run. Um, you know, to start a to start a match match of all things so well talk about the rest of the way here and you did uh, come back in that third set to keep things alive 25 23 talk about that set yeah, you know, the second set, like I said, I, I thought was ours. I mean, I yeah. thought we were going to come away with that second set, and they got a couple, um, you know, just lucky breaks there at the end. And so, you know, in, in that huddle after the second set, when you're down two sets and you're fighting for your life, you know, the message is, you know, we, we can't worry about set five. We, we can't worry about getting to a fifth set. We've got to worry about set three. Um, we got to worry about just one point at a time. We battle one point at a time and just worry about the, the third set, you know, and the girls really took that. And even like when Harlan called a couple timeouts, they're like, hey, guys, just one point at a time. We just got to worry one point at a time, just win one point at a time. And so we kind of took that into the third set and even into the fourth set of just don't have that overwhelming feeling of trying to get ourselves to the fifth set. Just win this one with yeah. this point right now. Um, and so just trying to live in the moment. I know that sounds so cliche and so corny, but it's like we have to live in this point we can't live five points from now um we have to learn from this point for five points from now but we have to live in that point and so um you know our girls did a really good job of that in the third set um in the fourth set we just caught a couple unlucky runs um we we really you know I don't want to say we didn't go for the ball, but there were way too many balls that dropped on the floor that we didn't go for, you know, and we kind of got to a point in the first set, second set, and even in the fourth set when we stopped anticipating where the ball was going and what Harlan was going to do, and, and we were reactive. And when you play a reactive game instead of an anticipatory game, you're too late. You know, volleyball is a game where you have to anticipate what the other side is doing. And sometimes it bites you in the butt. I mean, it does. Um, but most of the time, if we can anticipate what they're doing before they do it, we're, we're so much better off. We're yeah. so much better in general as a team. And so we got a little reactive. We waited. We got back on our heels, and we waited until the ball was in play before we reacted. Yeah. Um, and so that, that really just kind of bit us in the butt first, second, fourth set. Um, you know, it was really, was really the big thing. You know, we have to make sure that we're, we're anticipating where the ball is coming from and where it's going. Coach, uh, tell me what's next here. Um, Saturday, yeah. we uh, head to Tri-Center, our last tournament of the year. Um, should be another... Another good tournament for us. A lot of good non-conference teams besides uh, seeing Red Oak. Um, we'll have Red Oak, Tri-Center, um, Lawton Bronson, Westwood, and I can't even remember off the top of my head the 15. <laughs> Some team that's yeah. green and black. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I just remember they're green and black. Um, it was a really good tournament for us last year. Um, you know, we went and really just took care of business you know we ended up um, battling we played Red Oak in the last set of the the day last year and ended up winning the tournament you know beating Red Oak it, it came down to that last match and we played Red Oak again at the end of the tournament this year you know they're the the fifth game of the day and it's it's going to be a grind you know we play three straight games we have a lunch break and two straight games in the afternoon so yeah. it's just a grind you know there's not a lot of time for you to feel sorry for yourself and woe is me but you got to keep the momentum rolling from match to match to match so um, it's just going to be a really good non-conference day for us um, just continuing to get better you know we're going to clean a few things up tomorrow uh, moving into Saturday and then obviously into winter set next week yeah 
You bet. Well, Coach, thanks for stopping by. It was entertaining. Uh, without a doubt, I know you'd like to get the W here tonight, but your kids battled. Absolutely. Um, you know, one of the things I told the kids after the first set, you know, was they got everything they wanted. You know, the last couple weeks they've been talking about how they can't wait to come back home and have a home match and how they can't wait to have all of their friends and, and all of their family and just people who don't travel with us at the game and just that atmosphere. And I told them after the first set, I was like, hey, you guys are getting everything you're wanted, but you're not giving anything back. Mm-hmm. All these people are here and they're supporting you and you know they're here for you and you're getting everything you want but what are we giving in return you know let's go give them a show let's go out and let's just play and give them a show you know and the atmosphere was great um the student section was awesome you know they are super loud and into the game and um it was just great you know just a great game um you know we, we just got to continue to feed our hitters when they're hot um peyton harder holy cow tonight yeah i (laughs) And the funny thing is, I it was a game from a couple weeks ago. Um, Peyton is usually a very stoic person. Um, she usually has a very <laughs> stoic facial expression to her. She doesn't really get overly excited about anything. And so a couple weeks ago, Amy Nelson had caught a picture of her in a game when she was really, really excited. And somebody made a comment on the picture. was like, wait a minute, is that Peyton Harder smiling and, <laughs> and like, excited? And so it was really great to see Peyton really get into the game tonight. You know, I, preliminary stats is all I have, but I mean, she had 12 kills tonight. You know, she, she led our team in, in kills. So um, by far, you know, and it was one of those in the, th- in the third set. I'm like, we got to feed the beast. Like right now they can't stop her. So why are we go to her every time? You know, and then the message to Peyton is you got to be ready, though. You know, you have to be ready for a big block coming at you. You got to make your adjustments and maybe you go to the short game. You know, you have hit, 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 hit and go short, you know, keep them on their toes. And so Peyton, somebody who really as a hitter going to have to lean on moving into postseason. Very good. Coach, thanks a bunch. Best of luck on Saturday. You betcha. Thanks as always, Tom. Shelby. Love you, babe. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> that is the coach, Michelle Blake. After this one, Harlem wins it to three sets to one uh, over uh, the uh, Trojans uh, here tonight. Final thoughts, uh, Shelby McCready. Well, you know, um, I channel a lot of what Coach Blake says. I mean, you got to take the good with the bad. You know, you've got to look at the positives. You know, it's still a young team. Um, you know, you got to take games like this. They're tough, especially when you battle back, you know. But yeah. I think the biggest thing she said was the fight in the dog in that third set. Because when you're down to nothing, it's really easy to be like, yep, you know, I got things to do, places to go. I, you know, I'm no longer interested. And to just physically be present as opposed to compete. And they competed. They, really they competed did. to the point where they won the third one and hung in, you know, a couple errors here, service errors there, and, and we're going to the fifth set. No doubt. So, I thought we um, might, to his fact. Yeah, and so, you know, I agree completely with what she said. She's got a lot to, you know, be happy about, although nobody likes a loss. But, you know, the difference between set one and set four was huge, and so hopefully they ride that momentum into the weekend tournament. Very good. Shelby, thanks a bunch. Always enjoy working with you. Big thanks to Mr. Bill Saluk as well here on the camera tonight. Uh, we'll have high school football tomorrow night, uh, pregame at 6, kickoff at 7, live video streamed as well as on the radio dial 95.7 FM. We're back in a couple of weeks. We'll have the Atlantic St. Albert to match here uh, in Atlantic. Uh, Thanks for joining us and a good night from Atlantic. Elkhart Plastic.